Hello everyone, happy Sunday! I'm Rob. I'm Mel. And we're Rob's Gaming Table. We're playing Arkham Horror, the living card game by Fancy Play Games. We're continuing our playthrough uh, through the Path to Carcosa campaign. Today's one is called, because in the same day I'm usually scheduling the next one, looking at the last video to find out what cards we're putting in our decks. And I see a whole bunch of titles and I can never remember which one we're on. The Unspeakable Oath. But I'm sure you already know that because it's in the title, the thumbnail, and clicked it. I'm sure you read what you clicked and you don't just randomly click things on the internet. <laughs> Nobody does that. Uh, everything's good. Everyone can see and hear us okay? We're all good? Doing a little Sunday morning funny business on YouTube here. It's like being a little weird on my side, but... Uh, but we should be okay. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone in the live chat. And I guess hello to you watching later who couldn't watch live. Hello, hello to you too. I'm just kidding. All right. Uh, we're all good. We're all good. No one's saying they can't hear us. I know. They're so all just saying hi. Okay. I guess it's okay. I assume that's like we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Adam's dropping an LOL. I'm sure he's laughing at my horrible jokes. <laughs> You're plugged in though, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm sh I know they might not tell me if they can't hear me, but they would say it if yours wasn't working, so at least I would know if the audio mixer is not working. My bank sent me to a link here. <laughs> where, <laughs> where am I? <laughs> you had a Nigerian accent on the phone. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. Uh, all right. Okay. So GGSCV. Uh, is here saying literally just finished episode two. Nice to catch this one live. Welcome. Welcome. Awesome. Welcome. That's what I hope. The whole idea of us doing this only once a week. We tried it with the last series and the, even the one before that, I think. Normally we kind of like uh, play campaign games on the channel a little quicker. We usually play two or three times a week to go through the campaign faster when we play legacy and campaign games on the channel. But for this, I'm trying something different where we give like a full week for and that hopefully as people find the episodes on, on you know, and people share them and come across them on YouTube or find them posted in, you know, Facebook groups, whatever, uh, they have the ability to catch up very easily and join us live even during a playthrough because we kind of stretch it out and give a week between each playthrough. So it seems to be working. I feel like every week we have some people that show up that are caught up and joined us, you know, like you know, in the middle of a playthrough series. And that's amazing. That's what I, I was hoping would happen. Also gives people time to up uh, to vote on the deck upgrades, and you know if they see them later and that kind of stuff. So you don't just rush it through. Well, that's great to hear. <laughs> Brian W says I randomly click like here on a regular basis. <laughs> yes, everyone should be clicking the like button. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. I'm watching other YouTube videos uh, lately. It seems to be the thing. I, I remember saying it before, but it does seem to be a thing. Uh, YouTube does treat likes as. Uh, a big deal in the algorithm or whatever where it promotes your videos to other people who may be interested in them so the videos with the the lots of likes means other people will find these videos find the channel join in in future live streams so it doesn't just help me it definitely helps you guys too because you know we'll have more viewers will you know chat will get more full it'll be great i think i think depends on who shows up though <laughs> i don't know <laughs> Maybe quality over quantity is what I should be trying to trying to look out for. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that should work. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, Spencer's here. Hey, Spencer. Uh, Spencer says, can hear you great. Just wanted to say I finished school. We're done. Graduated. And your videos helped me on those late night homework nights. Thank you to both you. Aww, Spencer, Spencer, you're awesome. Spencer, we appreciate you being here for so long. That's awesome. Uh, we're glad we can help. Definitely helped us too. And congratulations. That's yes, awesome. congrats. And I remember that time when I finished school and it's finally like, I couldn't believe it. It took me forever for it to like hit me that I'm like, I didn't truly finish school when I graduated. I still took a whole bunch of night courses at different universities and colleges later, but those, they're not as serious. Taking like one or two night courses at a time, it's like, that eh, feels like cheating. But uh, yeah, full school load and being, and like going from that to like nothing, it feels so weird. I, I still sometimes get, uh, I tell Mel, one of my like reoccurring, uh, like I guess nightmares or dreams or whatever I wake up out of like stressed is that I like, 
didn't, I missed some classes. I didn't study enough for the exam and exams coming. I get like that exam pressure, uh, from university or whatever that, uh, like haunts me still to this day. I'll have every, every few months, I'll just have one of those like dreams where I, I think I'm, and I wake up thinking like, I'm not prepared enough for the exam. Exams are coming. Like, you know, school is stressing me out. It, it's weird. But yeah, I do still remember that very vividly. Yes, I understand those late homework nights too. <laughs> That's where my coffee addiction started. Um, caffeine addiction, I guess. Bob says, good afternoon, Rob and Mel. I am having a lovely Sunday. We have just been out to a restaurant for lunch. First time since August 2020. Wow. Oh, wow. I don't even know the last time we had a restaurant. Yeah, even with like patios even... and stuff, we didn't even go do no. that when they were when like even locally, like near us, there's I remember that we were walking around in the evenings and we would see the patios at the restaurants near us. Uh we're serving people like, you know, a few months back and stuff, but or maybe last last summer ish, maybe. Yeah, around August twenty twenty probably. And uh we didn't even use them then. We were just like, eh, like I don't know. It was probably in two thousand nineteen. Yeah, probably. Definitely. Probably twenty nineteen was the last time. Because yeah. we didn't Yeah. Wow. Yeah, wow. Maybe. That's going to feel weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> EG, click the like button 20 times. Uh, uh, every two times you click it, what is it? You it, like, then, then you, you click it again and it unlikes it. Well, it just blanks it, yeah. So, so like, is that 20 the right number? Or does it need to be like 21 so that it <laughs> clicks it on again? Make That's, sure it's highlighted blue. <laughs> yeah, just the, you can keep smashing it over and over again. Just make sure when you're done smashing, you smash it enough that the like button is still lit up. That's that's all I ask. <laughs> well, Orbit just finished making fresh scones and bacon oh. for brunch. Oh, yeah. Orbit, get out of here. Get out of here with your delicious stuff. <laughs> I'm bacon. You guys always make delicious stuff. I know. I'm slacking here. If they're not, they're, <laughs> if they're not, they're not saying it. If they're not making delicious stuff. But everything they're throwing out here, I'm buying. Yeah. I'm buying what they're selling. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Spencer is going to take his learning. His, all the skills he learned uh, to study and graduate are now going to be refocused on board gaming you know that's the whole reason he he went to school and took it so serious because he understood you need some of that for some of those heavier board games so that's right that's what it was all for yeah so it was all for <laughs> bob, you're so uh, funny. yes bob uh, yes <laughs> All right, oh, uh, let's talk about the deck upgrades. Let's, uh, <laughs> as I change the subject. <laughs> He's oh, thrown off now. Awkward. <laughs> All right, oh. so uh, I made the changes. Uh, I believe it's still, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Bob, Bob I think, is just a, uh, uh, with the deck upgrade comments, I feel like Bob Chapman is a. Uh, He's like the spokesperson. Not the spokesperson. He's like the puppet. Oh, he's like he's like the, uh, you know, when they say like the president or like pol political leaders are really just like, you know, a figurehead or something. And then there's like really teams behind them really making all the the moves and the decisions and everything. Uh, that's Bob. I think Bob's that. I feel like Bob's a puppet and he has a team of puppet masters behind him. He may be one of the puppet masters too. I don't know, but. No, he's like the spokesperson. He's the one that stands up in front of everyone and... But definitely the amount of people <laughs> who've commented about deck upgrades have reduced. And I know some of those people are involved in secret meetings and uh, there's some behind closed doors stuff happening. So there's less comments. And it's funny, Bob's comments down below in the deck upgrades seem to get lots of likes really quick. So there's definitely... Somebody's scamming the voting system here. And uh, yeah, but I'm all good with it. <laughs> I think it's awesome. <laughs> Uh, so anyways, Bob's recommendations again this week, uh, both the most upvoted. They are very good, definitely very good. Uh, as soon as I saw them both, looked at the cards, I was like, yep, yeah, you getting an extra shriveling, awesome. Or upgraded the second one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, yeah, upgrading the other shriveling. So yeah. they're both they're both the level two shrivelings or whatever. Uh, so the deck lists are updated. They're linked down below in the video description if you want to look at them during the stream, follow along, start thinking about what upgrades you want to recommend in the comments below on this video when it's done, the live stream. 
uh, and or vote on other people's suggestions. Get involved. Click a thumbs up on whatever comment down below if you're watching this later uh, or after the stream's done uh, and help, you know, help help vote to decide what upgrades we get. And if you don't see any down there you'd like, uh, put some of your own. If you just only care about upgrading Ash Can Pete, for example, and you have a cool idea, you know, where you can make the deck better or, or upgrade it or whatever, throw it down below and see. Maybe it gets some likes on it and it becomes how we change our deck. But it's all in your guys' hands. We're not choosing. I do vote. I do vote, and sometimes I'll even vote on a couple if I, like, really think the cards look cool or whatever. Um, but, yeah, go down and vote and help. Maybe you can change it and stop the, uh, the uh, I don't know, powerhouse, it seems, that uh, Bob and his team of puppet masters are... Uh, but maybe people are just. I know. I'm just kidding. It. No, Bob is quick with it. it yeah, it's you probably are quick, that. It, it is the quick thing. We talked about it before. Bob, Bob, right after the stream, he's like right down in there dropping comments right yeah, away. Yeah, like that day. Yeah. So then when people are watching it later today, tomorrow, you know, next, you know, throughout the week, uh, they're going down and seeing the comment and they're seeing his first. Looks good. Hit the like button, you know? Yeah. And if no one else has put comments yet and they wait, they wait a few days, it might be too late. So if you're watching this, and once it ends, it takes about. Depends on how long the stream is, but I saw it be ready before, like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, uh, and you're able to drop comments in at that point. So you want to be quick with it, uh, that you know, you can get your get your recommendation in, and maybe you'll get more likes just because you're early and more eyeballs see your recommendation. So Bob's mastered that system for sure. Oh, and it has nothing to do with having 20 Google accounts and <laughs> <since> Bob. <laughs> I'm okay. However you guys do it, I don't care. I'm He's not... He's just joking. Yeah, the upgrades are great. You do whatever. I'm all good with it. The system's working, I guess. I, I don't know. It's working fine. We're still getting comments and likes, yeah. so it is working. Yep. <laughs> yep. They're hacking the system. I'm okay with it. Uh, so yeah, so that's what we did. So the decks are down below. We see experience was three for Akachi, Shriveling, plus one, <clears throat> the 3 XP version. And then uh, we have taken out a regular version. And if we go back, Ash can Pete, uh, the change very straightforward also, uh, is taking out two starter level zero whatever, look what I found, uh, which were the whole fast by fail a skill test by two or less while investigating, I get to discover two clues. Now read this awesome sauce, I get extra oh. skill icons, uh, but also fast. Play if you fail by three, three or less, that's good. and then you discover two clues from among locations you're on or connected to. That is good. So I, if there's like a monster or something crazy like a space away, and I need clues from over there, I can grab them without even going there. Which uh, That's good. I like that. Man. Man. Failing skill tests? No problem. The only problem is that most of my fail is with that red token, so I don't know yeah. if it... I don't know if it'll really work that way. Unless it's like a really low shroud. But I think I think that makes me zero. Does that make me zero or just I fail no matter what? The auto fail? Yeah. The red is auto fail. But does it does it not make your value like zero? No. You just fail no matter what. Okay. All right. I, I Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember. I'm sure someone in the chat will correct me. But uh, <clears throat> yeah. I believe you. I believe you. I couldn't remember. I... I thought there was something where it was like uh, the no the auto fail is auto fail but if you use a flashlight it brings it down to zero. Oh, and that one okay for other ones yeah okay okay depending on your shot value <laughs> yogi's already complaining about the about the choice it's good it's good uh, but yeah long term maybe maybe saying it does drop you to zero. Oh, i i don't know like so for the auto fail you can still pass if you have a zero versus like, zero? Oh, it drops you to zero, but if you made the shroud value zero, maybe with a flashlight? No, no, I'm not talking about... I'm just saying your test, so I'm investigating. Yeah. I'm investigating a shroud of three. I get the auto fail that's a red, That and let's say I put nothing else into it, whatever, it doesn't even matter. It puts me flat to zero, and that's comparing to, let's say, three shroud. Yeah, but I'm saying... Do I fail by three, and now I can play Look What I Found? Yeah, but I'm saying also two... Or does it, it doesn't even matter because it still says you're a zero. But what if but you, you made... fail no matter what? It doesn't matter what you do. Yeah, yeah. So I want to look it up before yeah, yeah, yeah. you no. and I debate over something we don't feel comfortable knowing for sure. I see people in the chat recommending stuff too. Yeah, I'm saying I didn't realize this. Yeah, that's what I thought. It, I thought we read that before. Um, like I just thought you always fail no matter what. 
Yeah, so where do you think it would be in here? Modifiers. Modifiers? Yeah, it's one of the tokens. Out of curiosity, trying to use this rules pop thing, which is so oh, loaded. Chaos tokens, maybe. Chaos tokens? There yeah, we go. Yeah. This is the auto fail token. If this token is revealed for a skill test, it indicates the investigator automatically fails the yeah, test. See, that's Hold just, on. Oh, okay, that's just I'm going right to click it. on automatic failure and keep reading. Some card or token ability may cause the skill test to automatically fail or to automatically succeed. If a skill test automatically fails or automatically sees, it does so during step six of the skill test process. The skill test automatically fails. The investigator's total skill value for that test is considered zero. The skill test automatically succeeds. The difficulty of the test is considered zero. So there's still, it just becomes number versus number. So I think, I think you're good, right? So uh, let's see if there's like a... So like I should be able to play, and, and I bet if I go to here... And I bet if I click on the look what I found, which I probably should have just done it this way, I bet I can go to the card page and see what it's saying here. Oh, there is no FAQ stuff. Oh, I thought for sure. Well, maybe, it's just, maybe it's just straightforward. I just oh, know. maybe I'll, I'll look at the other one. I'll look at the other one. Um, let's look at the base one. Maybe that talks about it. Oh, only discover a clue if there's a clue at your location. Anyways, let's okay. see. Let's see what the chat's saying. Let's see what the chat's saying. Auto fails always a fail, but the test result is zero. So, but, but hold on. Can I just say? Can I ask a question then? Yeah. So, if I am investigating, I use a flashlight on a shroud of two, and it's. I, we're not using a flashlight. We're just focused on one card. No, here. I know. I want to look what I, I found. Now I need. Now that brings up another question to me. But that's different. You're modifying the shroud test. No, so now not, I'm not saying, the, I'm talking about the token. I know. I know. But no, I'm not finished. Yep, go ahead. So my shroud value is zero, and my test is zero. If I'm tied in that case, do I win, or I still? No, I think the auto fail still says you fail no matter. Even what. though it's zero versus zero. It, but I'm not trying to pass. You see what? Yeah, the, no, the I card we're talking about. It just made about. me ask another oh, question. Oh, this is that's not related. Asking. Okay. That's, yeah, that's what I'm asking. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, with these, look what I found. Yeah. If I fail by two, so if the shroud was two for this card, and I pulled the auto fail, it makes my value zero. But the shroud is two. I technically fail by two. Yeah. So I, I don't pass the test, but I do discover two clues at my, my location. Right. Because this just unlocks me the ability to play the card because it gives a number that I can compare to. That's all I'm looking for is like, I'm comparing it to zero. This doesn't care if I pass it. It just says if you fail by two. So it needs a number to compare to. So on the red token, it's considered a zero makes all that I've done a zero. So as long as Shroud's two, or now with my upgraded ones, as long as Shroud's three, I can still play the card. Okay. Uh, so about Mel's scenario, you're, you're talking right. about Flashlight. Well, it just made me think of that as, an, as a scenario. But, but you would still fail you in Flashlight because you require a pass to actually pull the token off. In this case, I don't need a pass to pull the token off. I just am using this card effect to pull the token off, which doesn't require a okay. pass. Okay. Get it? Yep. You're doing an investigation. So, like, I'm doing an investigation in this situation also, which would get me clues, but I fail. That allows me to fire this card off, which still lets me grab clues, which is not related to the investigation. Right, right. I still fail that test. Right. And fail to get the reward. So, in your case, you're still failing because okay. autofail says you fail. You're not getting the clue off unless you play something different that still lets you mess with okay. it. Okay. Like so, they're just putting the autofail to zero for other card effects. <laughs> yeah, like you're at zero. Okay. But you fail okay. with a value of zero. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. The thing I was looking at, the rules pop, the link's down in the video description for those who are curious what the heck that red thing was. I was looking oh. at. <laughs> I, I always bring it up and, yeah. Um, yeah, this is just a, a rules pop. The, the URL is down below. Um, and it's just like a reference web app, which you can use on your phone, tablet. PC, whatever, just in a web browser, and uh, it just, they've tried to just make a, kind of quick way you can look up anything as like, it's kind of just like a reference card on steroids. You can just be like, oh, I'm curious, what's a target? Tell me more about targets, boom, and then it like links like wiki style to other things, ability, 
oh, this relates to qualifiers. Boom, I'm reading about qualifiers. Like, you just... I like that, though. Instead of having the rules reference, you can just have this open on your phone and just click around. And Bob says, I think if your skills still being set to zero would make you fail by three or less, then maybe look what I found. Could we... I, I think it can. Yeah, it can. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All chat oh, yeah, agrees. Yeah. Just Robin Mello trying to talk it through. Yeah, 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 we're yeah, just, yeah. We're just understanding. Yeah, we're just trying to understand. It. And then I'm looking at the chat now and kind of reading through some <laughs> yeah. of the, the things. Because I know agree. there's a delay too. So sometimes Mel will bring something up. You guys are answering what I said 10 seconds before that. And it's like, wait, what? <laughs> we're confused now. That's what I was trying to say. Wait, oh, let's, let's work Sorry. through one thing at a time because of the chat delay. Yeah. And then we switch. So then, you know, when yeah. we understand what the chat's answering and talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it works. All right. Uh, let's go. Um, I guess we can start going through the setup, if you have that. Thank you. Okay. Choose investigators, take trauma, horror, and damage. I have one trauma. Okay. Uh, choose the lead investigator. You. Got one here too. Oh, it's four, a four. Two. I can see, but okay, it's Rob. Uh, assemble the token pool. I have it. Assemble the chaos bag. We have it here. Uh, collect starting resources. We have both have five. Draw opening hands. Oh, I just need to shuffle quickly. Sorry. Yeah, I've been shuffling for like last five minutes. So I'm hungry. All right. We got some guts. Love me some guts. We get some grit your teeth. Fast. Play if you fail a skill test. Uh, you get plus one for each of your skills the remainder of the round. I like that little wild icon. It only costs one. I have a leather coat. Uh, so if I'm worried about some damage, it's free. Throw it in. Help, uh, help keep the damage off. <clears throat> uh, I have found a keeper. It's called Encyclopedia. Love this card. Uh, so we're going to keep that. And Quantum Flux, uh, which is definitely a keeper, obviously, super early game, because I can shuffle my discard pile uh, and my deck and draw a card. So I'm definitely keeping this because I, I definitely want to shuffle my discard pile. So I'm going to keep this, hold it in my hand for the next three hours, and then I'm going to play it when my discard pile is nice and big, and then I'll shuffle it back in. Right? Pro play? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm throwing that away. Oh, so that's that's my play. I'm keeping Encyclopedia. Ditch everything. Ha! Hell no! Well, Encyclopedia is good. No, Encyclopedia I love. I'm keeping that card. Man, that helps with this crappy stat line here. I love it. I wish I had more in the deck so I make sure I see it more often. Maybe keep Guts. I, I know. I, I was thinking I want to see what you guys also said to keep. But Guts, I do love Guts. Helps me draw into other stuff. But I don't have... I know Fire Axe is not like 100% necessary, but it's nice to have it. Um, And uh, Peter. Peter Sylvester. I would oh, like yeah. to see. Yeah, so because I want to see Peter more than I want to see a Guts, uh, and I have other cards like this that have the whole draw and the skill card stuff, I, I'll draw into some, I'm sure. But anyway, so I'll put those aside, draw. There's a manual dexterity, all right. I did look through my deck this morning. Kate, if you're watching later, <laughs> or here. Uh, yes, I went through my deck this morning just to see what was in there again to kind of help me see what I want to look for, what plays I could make. Uh, Pickpocket will just survive, and there's Fire Axe, all right. So that's what I'm rolling with. Uh, yeah. Okay. Alchemical transmutation. Okay. It's okay. I agree Fire X is a trap. I agree, but it is. It, I find it useful. Uh, it's nice to have, I feel. It's cheap. It sits there. If I'm in a jam, it, it's, it's nice to have it as an answer. It's also, if it's out and it's an asset and they need to pop an asset and get rid of it, uh, it's better I'm throwing that away than, than Duke. Because uh, I can usually get it down very quick. That's so true. That's my logic on that one, Yogi. Uh, Moonlight Ritual, Rite of Seeking. So we're 100% keeping this card. This was huge last week. Uh, Hypnotic Gaze, and um, what's an enemy not attack, and Ritual Candles. Okay, so clearly you can see kind of how I put them together. I'm definitely keeping Rite of Seeking. I'm tempted to keep Ritual Candles as well. So if I pull a symbol, not the auto fail. Uh, during a test, I get plus one skill value for that test. So uh, we haven't looked at this, so I don't know how much that will help. But I'm kind of tempted to keep those two. 
then one charge, test a willpower for each point you succeed by gain a resource. I don't necessarily need this. Um, how many of this do you have to have? Two? In play? Uh, I don't think there's a limit, is there? Yeah, I'm sure there is, or they wouldn't use those icons. I forget. I, I don't think I have anything with the arcane symbol. I feel like it's two. Oh, it's one. Well, it's only one. Yeah, you can only have this oh. or this in play. So unless can you're playing, can you open my deck for one second? I just want to see. I may have not realized that. Can you look at the shriveling? Does that have that? I don't think it does, but uh. Oh, sorry. I want to know for old shriveling. Uh, yes. Oh. I definitely new shriveling. Yes. Oh, I definitely cheated last week. Then I didn't. Are you realize sure that. you're not allowed to have two? Had one. No, but I think it just means that's one symbol. This is just telling the symbol. This is two arcane slots it takes up. This is one arcane slot it takes up. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, you're I'm allowed, allowed to have two. I'm allowed to have two. You're allowed to have two. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm allowed to have two. Yeah. So I didn't fail. Yeah, or yeah. I didn't cheat. Okay. Whew. Yeah, but just, I'm just saying, watch these yeah. because you have two right here. So are those the two you're like locking in, or no. you plan on throwing one away? Yeah, shriveling will will replace. I definitely want to keep this. Uh, okay. Remember which symbols you took out? Oh, I forgot to watch the end of last week's stream. So I, I did. I did peek actually at our bag because I was curious. We have three skeletons and we have two uh, cultists. Let's just do it right now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. So I'm thinking. Uh, yeah. Yes, keep the can. Uh, I'll get everything except right of seeking. Yes, keep the. Can yeah i'm thinking of just maybe keeping that for now yeah i think i'm gonna just keep these two i'm gonna mulligan for a shriveling i want to find my um my card called that i liked last time spirit spirit seeker okay so we're gonna mulligan these three we are gonna get oh yes this is what i want spirit seeker yes that lets me put the cards back in my hand uh, we're going to get a ward of protection. That's helpful. And we're going to get a stone, a statue. Rotate statue, yeah. Okay, so this is helpful. This is good. So I'm going to keep those. Okay. Scary bag. I know. I know, This right? bag is horrible. It is horrible. Don't forget these juicy minus four, minus three on top of these awful tokens, except for this one. Got some minus twos. We'll throw those in. They're kind of crappy, but at least manageable. Yeah, yeah. And here's the kind of not so bad token. Feeling like a, I'm fine. I'm feeling an imbalance in the force here. Definitely an imbalance in the force. Just need a David. Yes, I just need a David. You're right. Okay. Uh, oops. So we're all good with cards. What's next? Oh yeah, sorry. Next, I believe is just read the, uh, read the scenario instructions. Campaign guide. Perform any scenario setup. And then read all this stuff. Okay. All right. We're playing a scenario for the unspeakable oath. Pretty sure, yes. Uh, check the campaign log. If the followers of the sign have found the way forward, doesn't sound familiar. Read intro one. If the followers of the sign have found the way forward, that doesn't sound familiar, but. Did not go to the police. Is on to you on a secret meeting and you took the honest. Nope. All right, okay, we're skipping no. to intro two. Uh, over the course of the next few days, you delve into the evidence you've collected, hoping to find any information regarding Daniel Chesterfield, a stagehand during a pr the previous production of The King in Yellow. As far as you can tell, he is the only surviving member of that production's cast and crew. The rest of them, that is those for whom you can find any records at all, disappeared or died soon after the opening night in a variety of fashions connected only by their morbidness. Freak accidents, suicides, vanishings. It would seem that Daniel is your only lead. If you are to investigate further, according to the records you found, he was admitted to Arkham Asylum many years ago. All documentation about Daniel's treatment seems to end there. You're unsure if he's even still alive. Perhaps he was cursed and released. Or cured, sorry, cured and released. You were hoping to avoid this, but there seems to be only one way to find out. You collect your belongings and head downtown towards Arkham Asylum. This sounds Yeah. Yep. Batman. <laughs> Continue to intro three. Uh, as you enter the asylum, you stop to speak with the receptionist. Though you feel your body 
uh, urge to step deeper into the clutches of this madhouse, he gives you a confused expression as to tell as you tell him of the king in yellow and of Daniel. But at your ins but at your insistence, he pours through his filing cabinet, file cabinet, eventually pulling out a stark white folder. Inside is a wealth of information about the patients admitted to the asylum, medical records, psychiatric evaluations, and the like. You recognize a few of the faces as he flips through the pages. Daniel? Daniel Chesterfield? Yes. He is admitted under special care of Dr. Mintz. But you can't see him. His level is restricted to staff only. You argue and insist to be let in to the patient wing, knowing that Daniel must hold the key to understanding what is really going on. The receptionist gives you a pity gives you a pitying pitying smile and relents, nodding to the security guards nearby. Oh, of course, of course. He says with all the honesty of a street peddler, I will schedule a meeting for you with Dr. Mintz so you can speak with him about Daniel. These gentlemen will see you in. Relieved that you will soon get the answers you seek, you are escorted into the patient wing of Arkham Asylum. Check the campaign log. If Constance Dumaine is listed under VIPs interviewed, no. Proceed to Constance's information. Otherwise, skip to setup. Uh, okay, man, so setup's terrible. up here. Uh, so let's see. Here. All right, so I gathered all cards from those encounter sets. Did this morning. These sets are indicated by these gross looking icons. Uh, set each monster enemy, which I did. Anything with a monster trait, set each enemy. Uh, it, among the encountered sets, aside in a separate pile, there should be seven. So I have seven monster enemies. They all have the monster trait on them. I'm just Mel, looking Mel is validating here. Just looking if there's any victory points. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's, <laughs> just because it's, it's open, right? I'm just shuffling the deck upside down. Let me, three. Yeah, there's there's three, three enemies of victory points Okay, there. okay, good to know. Just that set aside, so I, don't, I know. assume you don't shuffle it. Uh, then the lunatics, same deal. There is a whole bunch of lunatics here, seven of them. And lunatics don't seem to be okay. that victorious. Uh, and then randomly choose one copy of Asylum Hall's Eastern Patient Wing. Where's all that? Asylum Hall's Eastern Patient Wing. Eastern Patient Wing. Eastern Wing. Yeah, okay. Uh, so choose one of those and one copy of the West Patient Wing. There's two of those. Uh, what does it say? Uh, remove these, those copies from the game, put the remaining into play. Okay, it was removed from game. Uh, each of us is going to be able to play at, at an Arkham Halls, or Arkham Asylum Halls of his or her choice. Oh, so we can just, we can start at different ones. Why is Western on the, I, I on didn't, the east side of the Eastern? I didn't look be on at the them, Western, I just though. put them out, sorry. So we'll set aside these guys, set aside these guys. Okay, so enemies are all set aside. So do you want to start? I don't know different? if there's enemies left in the encounter deck. I don't. I didn't really look, but um, that just probably means there's less enemies, and there are like very few, if any at all. Um, so I'll just do the east side because I'm sitting over here. Okay. I don't know. Okay, we'll do it like that. Sure. I don't know if that's a good or bad. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if splitting up is is smart. But it gives us the option to. What does it say here? Uh, the pleasant atmosphere of the reception area disappeared as soon as Dr. Mintz shut the uh, uh, thick iron door behind them. The temperature dropped to a clammy chill and a foul, sharp stench hung in the air. This is exactly... Oh, this is a quote from that investigator's Arkham book, is which it... I read Ashcan Pete's little intro in his deal, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is the exact same thing. Um, to read your Akachi girl, see what her, her whole deal is. Oh, yeah, okay. Later. Um, okay. Set the following cards aside out of play. Daniel Chesterfield and each copy of Patient Confinement. So I have Daniel. And there are four copies of Patient Confinement. Oh, no. I'm going to show you the art. I'm looking at this card here. What the heck is going oh, on no. there? That does not look pretty. I don't want to go in there. All right. So we're just going to set that aside in a separate little pile there. I gotta find what room he's in or something. Put the following locations into play. So I have a bunch of locations in the hand. I'm sure that's these. Uh, mess hall, kitchen, yard, garden, infirmary, and basement hall. See suggested placement. Okay, uh, let's do that in a sec. Based on your difficulty, add the following chaos tokens to the chaos bag for the remainder of the campaign. We're playing on standard. Is that a minus three? Oh my god. Because why not, right? Yeah, why not? Ranking it up. I'm fine one. So, uh, Scraith was saying, uh, make sure you know what's in the bag. 
So I uh, just want to show. So three skulls is the symbol, and two of the cultists. Um, right. Or what's going on in there for those kind oh, of symbols? Me. Open one. Great. Uh, check the campaign log. Depending on the following circumstances, a different version of Act 2 should be used in this scenario. Each other version of Act 2 is removed from the game. If you took the Onyx class, use Act 2, the really bad ones, V1. Oh, no, we did. But otherwise, you'd use the really bad ones, V2. So either way, okay, it's bad. We really, okay, that's really bad. Uh, so really bad ones, V1, right? For sure, if you took the class. We did, right? We did. We took it. The so class. we're using V1. Yeah. So I'm taking away V2. I don't remember. Do we have a choice? Do we choose to take this? Yes. Okay. It didn't force us to take it based on yeah. our options. Yeah. We had to choose before, and we didn't even look at the card to know it was like a weakness. Oh yeah, or we didn't realize it was bad. Yeah, we were idiots. Uh, shuffle remainder of the counter cards. The building counter deck. Okay, so we're gonna go do the locations, which it says there's a recommended thing. Is there? The suggested location placement. Little mode. Oh, Exile, we gotta remember that. I guess it's gonna possibly come into play here, maybe. Some player cards can be Exiled, they just go back to your collection. You gotta, even if they're free, you gotta pay to get them back oh, in no. if you want them. And if your deck ever drops below the number, you have to, you're allowed to grab zero cards for to free fill to fill it in if you need. Okay. So, so this could uh, be interesting yeah, suggestions if we have to. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna happen here. Okay. Uh, suggested location placement for the Unspeakable Oath. It looks like there's a garden at the top. Yard. Or... I can put these away, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, then we have a row of kitchen. Oh, so it took us all of the, oh sorry it took us all of two seconds to decide to steal the onyx clasp oh yeah yeah okay now now we're we, being we were we were led by the uh our experience with the necronomicon there yeah and how awesome that was so we took the risk of like maybe this is something cool that punishes you a little bit um uh, but also is great oh why do i have a kitchen here in the basement hall what happened there um, I may just put the basement over here because it's getting a little close to my play space and oh, I don't yeah, like it. Yeah. I don't know. We'll try this. We'll try this. But we'll, the dark, dank basement's going to be over here. Just recommend a placement. I do what I want, all right? Mm -hmm. Do what I want. All right. Uh, and the rest is resolution, so we won't go that far. Okay. Loot! Yeah, have a shiny mm -hmm. treasure, yeah. Sneak in a plus three instead of a minus three. Oh my god, I wish. And then when a plus three comes out, do we even have? I don't uh, think we even have a plus three. I have to take a break, guys. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> hurry, hurry, before we come back, put it in, quick. Uh, oh, hey everybody, welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Uh, we didn't touch anything, I swear. I swear. <laughs> uh, Edgar says swap two left cards. Guys, there. Sure. I don't think. It I don't know. I, I think it's YouTube. Oh, my stream says it's sending, but YouTube's saying extra connection the whole time. But then I, I see everyone's oh, like getting Adam's disconnected. We got you. Are we good? We're back. Okay. We're back. Gonna open on my phone. So yeah, like, too. I don't know if YouTube like died. I had to change to a different YouTube server. What happened when we steal the Onyx clasp? They're saying. Yeah, clearly. Okay, we're back. Okay. Back. That's weird. Oh, it says Rob used to work in IT. I'm sure you can call on someone to fix it. No, no, I am the guy who <laughs> fixes it. I don't call anybody ever. I'm the guy that would like. 
question the companies that be paid to fix their own things, I'd be ripping on them at how they suck at their job fixing their own stuff. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, that's weird. Do you want me to dump this out again? Like, do you guys want me to dump the bag out that again? Was I the, can. Yeah, we worked with YouTube there to create that crash <laughs> so we could swap out tokens in our bag. No, we're fine. Okay, I, I don't think we have a plus three in there anyways, but... Oh, yeah. Does it come with a plus three even with the game? It does probably, right? I don't know. If it does, show that our plus three's there. If it has a plus three in the game, that's crazy. I guess on, like, super easy setting, maybe they would use that? I don't know. Uh, I don't even think it has I don't that. have a plus three. Yeah, so I don't, it, think, it has I don't think if a plus three comes out the bag, that would be interesting. Like a just scratch on the token, like a plus? Yeah, the highest I have is a plus one. Really? There's no even Well, plus there might two? be plus two in there. No, they wouldn't but I doubt it. Plus two. No, I, the only thing I have is... What a game. There's a minus a seven game. and a minus eight. I never want to put those in. What a game. <laughs> there's oh no more than, no better than a plus one. Other than your own blue token, like your blue token with your own ability, right? Yeah. That's the only real way you're going to get, like, plus. So there's two of us, so should I be able to put two of these in? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Next next time you two goes down or crashes for us, put in another blue token. Yeah, because that wouldn't be obvious, They'll never right? know. They, they well, wouldn't they, know unless no, you dump the, the bag out. No, or you do your stupid ability where you, can, <laughs> pull where, two tokens. Where you pull two tokens at the same time. And it's super awkward where you pull two blues, put them down, and you're like, like uh, <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they give you good things? I know, I know. That's so true. That's so true. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the in's mouth, if you want that. They have that? They have that? They give you more tokens? Just stand, I gotta open that box. We just, haven't just, that. To, just to pop that cardboard out so we can slip it in. That's so funny. <laughs> oh wow hurry up just so we can play with the higher to value tokens i'm sure it balances though that you get worse ones oh, too I know. okay okay so uh, then this uh goes. so the agenda 1a says locked inside the patient wing of the asylum is far quieter and lonelier than you had expected the hull reeks of chemicals and body odor as soon as you are escorted inside the doors behind you are closed and locked tight oh Two no again why so low yeah that's a quick Ugh. one and then we have, this is, uh, we need six clues total, three per investigator, Arkham Asylum. Aside from a, the few patients giving you a wide berth, there aren't any or, orderlies or doctors around to speak with. Looks like you'll have to find Mr. Chesterfield on your own. Uh, okay. And then we have our little... Token reference card here. So, unspeakable oath. We're playing on easy. Or uh, standard, sorry. Standard easy on this side. We're playing on standard. We're not doing the hard expert side. Uh, so, we have, what, three skulls? So, they're a minus one. If you fail, randomly choose an enemy from among the set-aside monster enemies and place it beneath the act deck without looking at it. Oh, oh no. we don't want to do that. The act deck is the good one. So, we're putting monsters below, and I'm sure eventually it'll miss a now on the monsters that Spawn are them below. everywhere. Oh, You've made it this man. far. That sucks. And we have three of those in there. Okay. We have three of those in there. But it's uh, only if you fail. So if you so pass with those. The monster deck. So it is random. I guess I'll keep it face up so I know which deck it is. But we'll uh, shuffle before we draw. It's only minus one. And it's only if you fail. If you fail. I know. So I know. hopefully I know, I know, I know. we're good. So don't do tests when you're even. Okay. Like you like to do. <laughs> uh, so the, the, the uh, cultist, which is in there, we have two of, right? Yep. Uh, minus X. X is the amount of horror on you. Oh, that gets worse than as we on go. On you. And to be clear, on you is just on your investigator card, not on, like, Peter Sylvester or anything else, okay. other allies and stuff. Okay. Companions. I'm pretty sure. But let me know if I'm wrong. That I can never remember, like, which way that goes. I'm pretty sure that's on you is just your investigator. Okay. And then we don't have the other two tokens in yet. Yeah, the other two so... tokens are not in the bag right now. So this is why I think Scathe was saying, remember which one you have. So the other, the tablet that we don't have is minus X. X is the base shroud of your location. And the elder thing to uh, token is zero. Either randomly choose an enemy from among the set-aside monster enemies and place it beneath the act deck without looking at it, or this test automatically fails instead. Hmm. Oh, they would like some How am I meant to know how these rooms are connected? Yeah, they yes, would like some directional yeah. arrows. I know, I know. Uh, we'll put them out there. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, here we go. The fun begins of us trying to figure this out. All right, so these are obviously connect. No, we don't need to put the arrows here and here. This is like different floors kind of, right? Because yeah. this red plus connects up to here. 
This green from here connects back to here. This yellow circle connects to here. Yeah, so it's like a This line. connects to green diamond, then connects left to blue and right to burgundy. Do they connect back? Uh, and then back is see yellow. yellow I see yellow. yellow. Okay, yes, good. they do. Uh, and from here, this connects to two additional locations beside this asylum halls. This connects to an orange heart, which is infirmary. Uh, infirmary. Infirmary. And then uh, the brown squiggle is the basement, which I put up here instead of below. Um, but we understand it's connected. Yeah, there were the jokes about it being an upstairs basement. The uh, basement connects back to it and also connects somewhere else that's not to revealed a yet. moon, which is not in play. Interesting. Okay. So I think it's kind of good we have it up here. So if I need Because it might be those patient rooms. Yeah, I might need to put another oh, thing to it. Oh, you don't want to go in the oh, basement. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the we basement have other patient rooms. That's bad news. Uh, over here, this continues on to a red square, which is great. And, there, and does this connect back to a blue triangle? Yep. Yes, perfect. So we're all good. I think it's all, yeah. Okay. I mean, it was pretty straightforward, but yeah, it's a basement attic. Exactly. And you don't want to go in there because I feel like it's going to connect to those patient rooms that had blood all over them. Mm. Bad news. You don't want to go in the basement. But we probably have to. What are you looking at? What do you need? To do? Like this over here. I have an arrow back you and sure forth can. this one. Then we can do like arrow back and forth like that. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it like that. Just kind of get on screen, have some space to throw monsters around and stuff for now. We'll yeah. shuffle it or shuffle it around as we need to. Hey, Layla. Hello. Afternoon. Mm -hmm. I hope the game is going well. Uh, uh, just getting into it. Still setting up, really. <laughs> okay. Um, but I think we're good now. Yeah. We can so just decide who's, who's going, going first? first. Oh, I guess we can flip these over. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Silent so Hall. So I'll do this one. Place. Yeah. Uh, so the Asylum Hall's Eastern Patient Wing has three shrouds, zero clues on it. Uh, action, take one horror, evade, automatically evade a lunatic enemy at this location. What? Oh. What? Okay. Take an horror for evading. Okay, so this one again has no clues on it. So for free, after you defeat a lunatic enemy at this location, draw one card. There's no limit on that. Yeah, so that's not terrible. Okay. But no clues. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. Well, that's most scenarios. They make you go run around and get yeah. them anyway. Yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. so this says the door leading to the basement hall is locked. You cannot enter the basement hall. So that makes that kind of, yeah. Oh, this also says. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. This also said the door leading to the kitchen is locked. You cannot enter this kitchen. Flip it. You cannot enter the kitchen. Uh, the, the gate, gate leading to the gardens is locked. You cannot enter the garden. Oh, well, I guess that makes it simple. We can go and here. Then, yeah, this is open. The scratched plaque on the wooden door reads infirmary. Uh, this must be where the doctors treat the patients. I want to go there. You want to go there? Yeah, okay, go I'm first. You go it. first, yeah. All right, so what I'm going to do is a duke -a duke duke I think. Yeah, I'm going to use exhaust duke to investigate with a base skill of four. I think. Hold on, let me... Uh, hand is there some setup i want to do first maybe yeah i know locks everywhere we gotta find the keys yeah i want to i'm just gonna spend one no i'm gonna spend two playing oh man no no i'm gonna spend one for fire axe okay um Um, I'm feeling it's going to be the loony is going to be in here. We're going to have a loony. Do you think the loony is going to be in there? Or do you think yeah. the loony is going to be just brought through? I don't know. Uh, okay. Oh, in the infirmary, there's probably a loony, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I, I'm going to risk it. But if gonna, you're ready, then. I'm going to play Encyclopedia, and I'm going to put that in. I need two more of these little tokens. And then my last action, I know, last action, I'm going to try the Duke thing to exhaust Duke to investigate. I may do the move before it. I'm going to move into here. We're going to gamble a little bit. I'll flip it. Uh, it's got three shroud. Gets two clues on it for us. And it has an action here. Heal one damage and take one direct horror or heal one horror and take one direct damage. Limit once per round. Got a victory display on it or victory one on it. I like that. A victory one. 
So my test against it right now is a four on three. Um, all I got, so four on three. Mix them up a bit. Yeah, definitely gonna mix them up. Because you're a lunatic doesn't make you a bad person. That is true. Uh, is that? Not a bad person, but is you might, might not want to encounter them in the infirmary. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. In this game. <laughs> With no doctors or what else? No, uh... No horror. You're good. It's zero. It's a zero. Yay! Okay. Yay. That's a good start. Got a clue. Woo. Uh, okay. Done. Okay. That's a good start. All right. So what am I going to set up before I move? I'm definitely going to set up for four the right of seeking. Okay, this gets three charges, but four because of my ability. So the four I just paid, I'm just going to put it right on here. That was action one. Could put the candles out too. But I do want to kind of save to get the Spirit Seeker into play. Move. So maybe I move first. We'll see what's going on. Are you moving to? Oh, I'm going to the mess hall. So it says, a wide open doorway leads into the asylum's mess hall where patients would have their meals. It's quieter than you expected. There are no chairs scuffling, dishes clanking, or patients speaking with Okay, so, okay, this has four clues, two shroud. That's not terrible. Forced. After you successfully investigate the mess hall, choose and discard a card from your hand. Ooh. Victory and one on that one, too. Yeah, so we're going to put four clues on there. So this one's heavy on the investigation. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's going to have enemies mm -hmm. trying to mess with us while we try to do that. Okay. So then I think, because I have to discard a card when I investigate, but I do get additional clues, so that's helpful. I think I'm going to take a resource for my third action. That way I can get my Spirit Seeker into play right away and then do that before I lose it next turn. So... I don't want to lose it. So I'll take a resource for my last action. You can just take a card for your last action also too, right? No, because I, I want to. Is it three? Well, th if, if not, then I can potentially put both of those in play next oh, turn okay. if I have three. Okay. So we'll see. And if I'm going to have to discard a card, I may not want that card discarded. I don't know. If you choose it though. Not random. Oh, choose, choose and discard. Oh, yeah. So it's I like see. you get to well, pick. And... Yeah. We'll see. No, I'm good. Okay, that's that. Uh, enemy phase, there is none. Upkeep. Yep, got a resource, mm -hmm. drew a card. Oh, what did you found? Hey, look what I found, guys, <laughs> when I drew a card off my deck. Look what I found, look what I found. <laughs> look what I found. Woo. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, put this into play my threat area. Uh, when your turn begins, discard a non-weakness card from your hand. Sorry. When your turn begins, discard one non-weakness card at random. Oh, man, I'm going to lose See, that's that card. Why, yeah. yeah, but I still would have had that. It wouldn't have changed yeah, anything. That's true. I would have just had one more card. But uh -oh. that's okay. Fingers are crossed. that we're... Uh oh. I don't even want to lose any of these, to be honest. But okay, well, it is what it is. Ooh, okay. okay. Okay, what's next? Uh, next is Mythos. We're going to add a Doom. So we're at one of two, and you are lead investigator. Did we shuffle this, or do you need me to? Uh, I, I don't know. I did a bit of shuffling, but I, I think we it, should. Though. Oh, Bob says, can we stop referring to these people, poor people as loonies? They are sanity-challenged individuals. <laughs> sure, we can call them sanity I'm not saying that over and over again, this whole scenario. <laughs> it said. We read what it said. Lunatics. Lunatics. They're, that's their trait on them, but I keep calling them loonies. Oh. Oh, uh, that's a secret. Oh, yeah, yeah. This... I know the art on those, God. like, the back of my hand. God damn it. <laughs> no, why do we have these again? Okay. Good? Nope, but I got a card. Okay, so mine. I think there's, like, three of those in there, I think. Because this one, I, I don't know if I've seen this one yet, but I know the other two. So there's at least three of those God awful cards. So there. I think I remember two of them. Yeah, so I think this is a new one that we don't I don't think we've drawn before, maybe. We'll okay. see, we'll see. So this is called the Wall 
Walls closing in. It's a revelation. I have to test the willpower of X, where X is the shroud value at your location. So my location is two. Let's do that first. Then it says if I fail, da da da. So my shroud value is two. I have five. Um, I don't want to put any of these cards in. So we're going to do a five on two. Minus one. We got it. Uh, if you fail, I must take horde. Da, 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 da. That's it. So I'm good. I may take one horror for each point of you failed by or randomly choose. Okay. Nope. All right. Who's going first? Um, I don't know. Does it matter? Is there? No. I don't think it matters. So you, because uh, you just do it. Okay. Know. So on my oh, turn, at the beginning of my turn, I have to randomly. Uh, oh, start a card at random. Yeah. Please, please, please don't take my spirit seeker. Okay. Okay. Grotesque That's statue. Fine. That's fine. Okay, so that happened. Uh, I think I'm just going to right away use, because I don't want that to happen again, so I can use two actions to discard this. Okay, I have one more action. Gotta set myself up here, so I'm just gonna put the Spirit Seeker into play, because I don't want to lose the card. That's so good. For two. Okay, that's fine. Well, candles will turn skulls to zero and cultists to plus one for you until you take horror. I'm going to put the candles into play. I am. So you can't lose them. Well, I would only lose them from this, and I ha I'm ready to put it into play. And GG, we'd only call them toonies if there was two lunatics <laughs> in the same space at the same time. That would be referred to as a toonie instead of a loony. <laughs> yeah, and I do want to get those candles into play right away. I wish I had another action, but that stupid card. All righty. Okay, go ahead. Uh... That's a quick turn. I'm just going to use Duke and do a whole investigate thing um, or think. Uh, so four on three again. I'm hoping to get lucky. As long as you're up one, you're good. We won't have to put any monsters in play. As long as I'm up one. I'm up one to start, but the problem is we've got minus three in there. Yeah, now. but as long as you don't, I'm saying if you're up one and you get the X <sighs> or the uh, skull. I mean, you may not pass, but that's a different story. What? Is it? Don't want these monsters being added in if I can avoid it, but yeah. But as long risk. as you're up one, you're good. No monster. I'm gonna draw a card. No, I'm gonna use Duke. Yeah, I'll use Duke. I'll try a four on three. I don't know. You're Minus good. one, we're good. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> right. could really bad. Yeah, it could have been really bad. I don't know. Okay, uh, then I'm just going to spend uh, I'm just going to spend two actions to get rid of this garbage card, but it's not the worst. I cannot move more than once each turn. Oh, yeah. I could have held this, probably played the rest of the game with it. Yeah. But I, that's not the worst one. Yeah, but if they want, if they're gonna shuffle back in, I'm I'm kind of okay with that one shuffling back in mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. instead of holding it. I'd rather hold one of the other ones if if that's the case. But yeah, we also does take we'll a card slot. And Done. Adam Adam also says you can fill them with helium, and then we can call them balloony. <laughs> my God, that's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Okay, no, uh, I already oh, went. Done. Yep. Monsters, so monsters, nothing. nothing. Reset. Yeah. Ready up. Flip. Oh, I got a will to survive. Fast. Play only during your turn. Do not reveal chaos token from the bag. Cost me four, though, but at least got to fight a con on it. I give you a resource already. What do you think? Okay. And I have a fearless. This, uh, If this test is successful, heal one horror. I don't have any, but okay. This is the one I choose to discard from this. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, Doom. Doom. Oh, that's going to add two, and that will. Oh, right now, yeah. Yep. 
Uh, the patience. Speaking with the patience is proving more difficult than you had assumed. Assumed. Uh, the eye you cautious. They eye you cautiously and refuse to answer any of your questions, backing away or feeling, or fleeing if confronted. Either they're not used to guests, or something about you is causing them a considerable amount of distress. Some act like animals backed into a corner, and you think at any moment they might strike. Shuffle the encounter discard pile and each of the set aside lunatic enemies into the encounter oh, deck. Oh, that was so fast. We'll shuffle that good, the whole thing. Spread it out. I don't want to draw seven lunatics in a row right off the top of the deck. Yeah. Make sure to shuffle really good multiple times. Yeah. Uh, the lead investigator must randomly choose an enemy from among the set aside monster enemies and place it beneath the act deck without looking at it. So, yeah, they're trying to make us have it do it whether we like it or not. Randomly choose. Okay, randomly choose one. Don't look at it. Yes, don't look at it. I don't know. We're just going to put it beneath the act deck. Then we have Torturous Descent. Agenda 2A. The longer you spend in this hellish place, the more you will want to leave. Already, it feels like day has felt like days. You fear that if you're stuck here much longer, you'll become like the patients. A husk of your former self, unruly and dangerous. This one wants seven uh, doom on it before it advances. Okay, that's better. I feel like that's a little more time. <laughs> yes, Nicholas. Goonies. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> awesome movie. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Oops. Okay. Nope, it's a roach swarm, not lunatics. Oh, okay. Well, there were enemies in there that were not lunatics. Uh, we got a creature X. X is the Shroud Valley of the Roach Swarm's location. Two damage, three to evade, does one damage. This is going my spot, which means it's three test of and engage with me. Oh my god. Oh, got a maniac. After maniac engages with you, take. One damage and deal one damage. Okay. Take one damage and deal one damage. Ew. Where can I go to heal? Uh, where but you gotta are, take right? a direct horror to heal one damage. Yeah, that's okay. I can... Even though these. I know. I know. Having we'll see. We'll like, see. I feel like damage is not what you need to worry about until you're like really close. Well, I have four more that I can take. I'm so scared. get a guy in play that can take some for you. Yep. Okay. Oh, that changes my whole turn. All right. But you do have ways of healing horror too, right? In your deck, or that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So maybe, yeah. Yeah. I feel like this one is like really going to punish us more the crazier we get. Would end with us staying in here for the rest of the campaign. We might be stuck in the asylum. Oh. Oh. Uh. Well, that's not revelation. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. I can't even fight this guy. I got to evade. Evade, but remember, there's a. Uh... Eat and evade automatically at this location. You gotta take a horde to do it. Okay. Go first, or? If I went first, I would just try to evade, which is a three on one. If I evade, I would attempt this once, and then I think I would move. I can't fight this guy until I get my uh, shriveling. Mm. Want me to do that or? Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. All right. So I will just attempt to evade three on one. Minus three. That's a fail. I guess I'll try again. Zero. Got it. Okay. So he is evaded. Action two, so I got to move that. Uh, back. Option yeah, is here. Yeah, I got to move here. Because right. I want to get some of those, because I can get two. But, okay, well, we'll. 
Maybe Duke can help fight that guy. I don't know. I got my own guy. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not this turn. Away. Not this turn. But very far. Like, away. Maybe I'll go He's to the yard. He's not moving. At least He's yeah, standing there. Yeah, but yeah okay. maybe I'll try to go there. He's not a hunter either, right? He just stays there. No, yeah, he'll just stay there. Get your shriveling and you need to dig or something. I know. Okay. Uh, I don't have to move, but if I don't move, then he's just going to engage me, and I'll have to keep doing that every turn. Like he won't, he won't hit me. I guess maybe I try, but then I have to engage. Then I have to evade him again next turn. Well, remember, as soon as he engages you, he hits you with the damage, and he oh. takes the damage. Then again, I'm at. That's not the best way to defeat no, that enemy. That's no. for sure. It will take a while because he's four yeah, health. Yeah, I think I have to move. Oh, sorry. That's Also, could could go to the yard. You might find it's a similar style location where yeah. you can get some clues from. That's true. Okay, uh, so I have this roach. I feel like I just tried Duke on him four on three, but get rid of it. But I don't know if that's uh. Can't use an encyclopedia without taking an attack of opportunity, which is only one damage. Throw in a will to survive. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll use Duke to fight the Roach Swarm. I'll put in a will to survive for a plus one fight. Uh, so I'm a five on three. I automatically fail, of course, and that's gone. Have that other card? Other card? That we were just talking about, the I'll buy three. That's uh, <laughs> oh, for it's clues. only for clues. I, oh, there's okay. no clues around, but that would be yeah. cool. Um, sucks. All right. I'm gonna throw away pickpocketing. No, you know what? Just fire axe, like throw away all my resources. That sucks, but. Otherwise, I'm going to start throwing away cards to ready Duke, throwing in cards into the test, like just getting silly where I'm throwing tons of resources at a roach swarm. This is kind of sad. Uh, he has an evade of three, but I only have three. So I don't want to try an evade trick. Oh, I do have manual dexterity, though, but I'll have to deal with this at some point. Not necessarily, because if you can evade him and oh, run, yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't he, yeah, he'll just stay oh, there. Oh, I should have tried that then instead. That's probably the play. Whoops. Yeah, I should do that. Oh, I would have auto filled probably anyway, but uh, yeah, I'll try to evade. I'll try to evade. Uh, even though, yeah, that's fine. So I'm gonna do evade test of let's do five on three. I don't. I don't know. Zero. Okay, so he's evaded. I draw a card. Yeah. Guts. Okay. okay. And I have one action left, so I probably should just move. I don't have any tricks with an evaded enemy or anything. That's my last action. All right. Enemies? Uh, nope. nope. Oh, they don't ready up yet. Nope. Then it's us. Reset. Then ready up all the cards. Draw a card. Then collect resources. There is Waylay with an evaded enemy. I would have used it there for fun, but uh, we didn't have it, so. Well. St. Hubert's Key. Okay, that is not bad. Here's a resource for you. Okay. Right. Doom. Doom on the agenda, yep. Oh, I found a good old young psychopath. 223, humanoid lunatic, forced. After young psychopath engages you, you must either take one horror. Or young psychopath gets plus three fight until the end of the investigation phase. Hmm. Yep, I guess I'll take a horror. Where's Peter? Erosion. Revelation. Discard oh, item asset from play and or from your hand with the total printed resource cost of at least X, where X is a shroud value at your location. So oh. two. Item. 
I don't know that I have. You need to get oh, more assets item. into play. That's what that's saying. Oh my gosh. Yep. The only two I have. Or you get some more mm -hmm. assets. That's not an item. That's not an item. Yeah, these are the only two, so I have to get rid of the key. Unfortunate. Yeah, Waylay may be interesting uh, against some of the monsters, maybe. I might try to hold on to it for that. But at least this, it could help me evade, too, if needed. All right, all right, our turn? Yep. We'll just go? Yep. All right. Let's see. Fight that guy. Me, but won't have enough action. Total damage. Play, so I can't back out yet. Alright, um, so I'm gonna fight the young psychopath. I'm gonna do it with Duke. Four on two. Minus three. Fail. Yep. Great. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Um, wait, a card. I don't. I don't know. I kind of want to try to get pickpocketing in, and if I'm going to do more evading, one maybe I could draw some cards of that to fuel get a little engine going. But probably just toss it. Yeah, I'll just toss pickpocketing. I guess ready up, Duke. Try to fight again. Or I do two. Fire axe tests. Now I'll just try Duke. Um, it's a four on two. Minus three again. Wow. Uh, okay. 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 Uh, I'm just going to spend, um, I'm just going to fire axe. I'm going to spend all of my resources, uh, which is so silly, but, um, yep. And so I'm attacking for, oh, it's three times per attack. I can do that. So I can't even really do it because I don't have another way to get rid of stuff. So that's not going to happen. I forgot that you're limited. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we just evade. That was a waste to take that horror. If I do a Vayas three on three. Yeah, I'm gonna mm -mm, bit of evading. Still gonna be stuck here. It's gonna engage with me. I still have to do the horror thing again. Oh. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Let's let's just do this because I'm getting very annoyed and frustrated. Uh, so I'm just gonna make bad plays because of it, and I'm gonna spend four. Uh, to play this and not reveal a uh, token for my next skill test I perform. Uh, so you take those four. Okay. And so I'm not going to draw. Oh, but I don't have Duke. So am I allowed to do that more? Nope, I can't ready Duke again. So then I will attack with Fire Axe. Instead, I'll spend one. So it's a four, whatever. I have zero, so I'm not doing two damage. So either way, I waste all my resources. And I won't draw a token, and the Young Psychopath, which is a very weak enemy. Uh, I just wasted like eight torn turns of resources to kill it! <laughs> Yay! Uh, so that it's not hitting me for damage and horror repeatedly, and I have to take horror so that I can try to beat it. Yeah, that feels very bad. But okay, whatever. Uh, we're good. Boom! Hi. Well, I think my only option is to move to the yard and see if there's clues here. The fresh air and the illusions of freedom make the asylum's courtyard a common gathering place for the patient. So the barred, barred windows, dead tree branches sway in the wind. Gray overcast skies trap the asylum in a dull limbo. All right. 
do have, okay, one trout. We do have clues, so we'll get two on there. While you're investigating in the yard, it gets a plus one trout for each hero, or, <laughs> or horror, sorry, on you. Oh, you if there are nice. no clues uh, on the yard, take one damage. Remember that you uh, in, in, incited a fight among the patients. So you have to do an action to be able to get the remember you started a fight. Do we want to start a fight? Is that a good thing? I don't Probably. Know. Maybe. But okay. yeah, Bob, I thought that too is using the, the fire axe twice. I, I should have just did it to kill him. But the problem is I just feared that if I kept doing that, uh it's still just wasting all the actions and I might still fail on those too. Uh so yeah, e even so. Two little fire axe chips, one fails, I still have, then I have to do a third one. It's like, yeah, it's probably would have been a better play to just keep doing the fire axe over and over again rather than using Duke and discarding cards and reading Duke and all that. Um, but yeah, it's whatever. It is what it is. Okay. Well, that was action one. So action two, I'm going to use Rite of Seeking. Uh, spend one charge. Investigate using my willpower instead of my investigate. If you succeed, I discover additional clue at the location. And then, oh, actually, sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on. Action two, we're going to put in handles. Now we're going to do this. Uh, and then if a symbol is revealed during the test, uh, after the test is resolved, lose all remaining actions. Okay. I want that to be my last action. So we're doing a five on one because I have no horror. Minus one. Got it. So I get both of these. So I don't have the action to do that, but we can decide that next turn if we want. Okay. We're still too close short of this. Yeah, but I'll try to come back down here. If we can maybe work on this yeah, together. Yeah, I know, I know. I, w I wish I could have been adjacent or, know. you know, at least closer, but. But he, he, if you can do, I don't know, we'll, we'll see what we'll there, but. I'll probably only get one attempt on him. Which but he will he take a damage when he engages, so he'll be at two. Oh, if that's yeah, that's true. Though. Yeah, that, that works, actually. But you'll also take it off oh, the damage. Yeah, whatever. So, okay. It's, it's okay. That's us done. Enemies. Enemies. This guy just chills. This guy chills. Yep. That's it. Up to Reset. You. Ready up. Draw. Leather coat. Initiate. Okay, this is good for. Um, I have a bunch of resources. For yeah. A whole handful. Um, this is good for putting um, some res or some horror and damage. Okay, said, yeah, sorry. Draw. Yeah. I found a Dance of the Yellow King Pact Revelation. If there are no lunatic enemies in play, Dance of the Yellow King gains Surge. Uh, lunatic. Okay. Uh, otherwise, we're going to test Willpower of 3. Uh, and it says, if you fail, the nearest lunatic enemy readies, moves one location at a time until it reaches your location, engages you, and makes an immediate attack. I mean, that's not the worst case. Oh, but I wanted him here would be awesome. I know. I, I wish I had an action. I could have ended there. Yeah, that would have been Because then better. I could defeat him there and draw a card. That would be amazing. Uh, okay, so this uh, I, uh, willpower of three. How important is that? I'm going to do a guts on it, whatever. Uh, oh, no. But that would mean a six on three. Do you want to fail this test, though? Nope. If you fail any... Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, you I, want I don't it. want extra yeah. damage. Like, yeah, you're right. Why bother? I, I'd rather be ending at this location anyway. You know, maybe mm -hmm. uh, maybe some things can happen where I fail tests and grab clues and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so I'm gonna put a guts in on this test, and I like, oh, sorry. Bang. what's a, a, a six on three minus four. No, really, six on three. Really, wow. Okay, yep. Awesome. No card draw. Uh, this guy's gonna move along. Doopy doo, and then he engages with me, and he takes damage. I take a damage, and then he attacks me for an additional damage. Um, but I want oh, sorry, one yeah. of these to yeah, go on sorry. Duke. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Sure. Yeah. Sometimes that one's dirty. And a straight jacket revelation. If there is no copy of Straight Jacket in your threat area, put Straight Jacket into play in your threat area as an asset that takes up one body slot and two hand slots. <gasps> Return each asset in those slots to your hand. Okay. This card cannot leave play except by the ability below of two actions. Okay. So hand slot is only my candles of one, so that's not the worst. Ow. 
What the heck is a body slot symbol look like? Well, a jacket, like a like arms and a body. Like it looks like a body. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Like, looks like a jacket. A body would with arms on it. Body. <laughs> looks like a body. Okay. I don't think I have any of those bodies. Like this. Yeah. Like oh, okay. Like a... see, like a body. <laughs> see, like a body. Everybody, that's a body. Just without okay. the legs. I didn't. You know, like if you were to draw a body, that's what it would look like. <laughs> okay. I got it. I got it. It's a body. It looks like a jacket. It's like a jacket. That's a... <laughs> okay. Just checking. I just want to make sure. I'm like this is not a body. This is a person, I guess. So that's okay. <laughs> the head. But it has a part of a body. <laughs> it's the upper body. Hey, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Got it. Got it. I'm just trolling. That's All fine. Right. That's uh, fine. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. What's I guess happened? that's not the worst. We're, our it's turn? our turn. Uh, you want to deal with the maniac first? Oh, yeah, sure. Because, oh, that's clear now. I can move down yeah, here. Yeah, you can just go do whatever. You want to do that before somebody Yeah, yeah, changes? yeah. Because this doesn't matter. I don't need to put the candles into play. So, one, two, and then I'll do a rite of seeking. I don't have my candles, so maybe I might fail, but... Uh, so, we're doing a five on two. Actually, even if I pull the token... This is my last action anyways, so... Oh, I did, okay. Minus one, but I don't fail, so that's fine. This says I lose my last action, but that was my last action, and I get two clues. So we now have six. We can do this. You wanna do that? Flip it? I don't know if that'll flip this. So I don't know if you wanna go on your turn first and get rid of this guy first. Uh, yeah, let's do it on my turn, maybe. Okay. Okay. Oh, I didn't do that, but I can go back up there if we want to take a fight. I can go back up there. I think there. it would create a distraction, maybe, and allow us to get into somewhere we're not allowed to get into. Well, it just says, remember. oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's you remember you incited the fight, but at some point, one of these is going to say, if you incited the fight, also do this, or this happens yeah, instead. Yeah, yeah. Or skip this card, or add doom to this, or something. Who knows okay. if it's good well, or bad. Well, we can think about it if we want to. If but I, we I, have to do it before we flip cards because you know it, it might might have missed our opportunity. I feel as what what could happen. Okay, um, I am going to fight this guy. I could do with a fire axe. Spend one. It'd be a four on three only. I might get stuck here again with these stupid. Uh, really bad, really bad waste of a turn again, but Ash Can Pete's a lover, not a fighter, I guess, so, uh, yeah. All right, uh, we're gonna go with, I guess we'll just try a Duke first. Mm, I think, if I get lucky and I kill him on the first turn, I have a Duke available, I could move and then try a Duke into here. Oh, I have to discard a card, don't I? After you successfully investigate, uh, yeah. discard a card. Yeah, discard a card from here. Okay. Uh, we are going to discard fearless. But if you think you can just do that again, next I can, turn. well, I can with this. I have, yeah. and I'll get. So I can I, get. I don't both. need to bother doing it, but if I don't need to. Oh, you know what? Can I rewind something yeah, slightly? Go ahead, go ahead. I forgot that I had ward of protection. I could have canceled this. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Just spend one resource. Spend here. one. I would have played that. I would have canceled that, and my candles would have still been in play. Okay. Bob, you don't want me answering that question. <clears throat> okay. Sorry about that. I forgot I had that in my hands. No, the discard's not random on that card. No, it says no. Choose, choose, choose and then discard, discard one card from your hand. Yeah. Yeah, Mel keeps thinking it's random, and I keep reminding her it's not that bad. Because I always think every time you have to discard, it's random. Yeah, but it's not. Okay. Uh, like, I, I don't even know, like, what I would do if I fought this guy and killed him on the first turn. Like, the rest of my turn, I'd probably just draw and get a resource or something. But uh, I don't think I need Duke. No way really with clues other than this. I oh, I, I could I go to this. Yeah, and I do feel like once we flip this, it might unlock something for us. I just don't know what direction or if it'll unlock oh, everything, true. right? If it unlocked the basin, that would be good. But I, I think of inciting the riots just before doing that might be helpful, but maybe not. 
All right, so I'm going to try a Duke on this guy. Three on four. Um, yeah. Yeah, my weakness is the one that's random. But we've already seen that, so. Amount of horror on me is Mine's one. one. Oh, Mine's you got one. it. I'm good. So this guy gets the two damage from Dookie Duke. He is gone. Okay. And then... Could put in a leather code if I'm trying to be safe uh, for an action, then move, or I could just move, move, so I'm in the yard. Let's do, or I flip this now, and I still have two actions to, to direct my turn more. I think I'm going to do that. So let's, let's spend. Right? I can do it on my turn? Yep. Anytime? Sorry, and thank you. I had to take a horror for water protection. Oh, yes, okay. thank you, thank you. Uh, so I'm going to do this, fire this one off, uh, which says key to the basement. Perfect. Oh. I was hoping that like it okay, would help good, good, direct good. me. I thought I might have opened all of them, but that's still good. Maybe. Who knows what it's doing on here. Look at this wall oh, of text. Oh, wow. Turning a corner, you nearly bump into a nurse with light brown hair and sharp features. Tell her about the violent patients and the strange things you've seen, but she doesn't listen. When you inquire about Daniel, she informs you that he is a patient of Dr. Mintz, that he resides in the secured basement level. Unfortunately, she refuses to let you into that area of the asylum. Okay. The investigators must decide to choose one. There's four options. Investigator test fight of four to intimidate her into giving you the keys. If successful, advance to act 2A. If failed, you must choose an option you have yet to choose. Option two is any investigator test agility of four to steal the keys from her. If you're successful, Advance to Act 2A. If you failed, you must choose an option you have not yet chosen. Option 3. Investigator test in, uh, investigate 4. Or intellect 4. Um, to persuade her to give you the keys. If successful, advance to Act 2A. If you failed, you may choose another option you have yet to choose. Or the final option, number 4. You knock her over, grab the keys. Remember that you took her keys by force. Advance to 2A. I don't think we want to take them by force. But I don't think we're going to pass any of the other tests. I know I won't. I'm negative on all of those things. I'd be coming But from... any investor can decide. So like... Yeah. But are you... Would you be for or above on any of those tests? No. I have willpower for, but that's, that's not, not a test. Option. Yeah, I think either uh, one we're coming I could do agility at... and be at five. Okay. But I, don't, I don't think I'm going to do it. Then I think we have to take by force. Well, I, I, would, tr I would try. I just worry that... I feel like this is setting up for this stuff where we're minus, we're going to fail, we're going to add more monsters. But I don't, I can't do any of them. I'm down, I'm three, three or two. I'll try the agility, throw a waylay in there. Okay. Might drive a few people nuts, but okay. I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to test agility and I'm going to throw in a waylay. So that I'm five on four. Okay. I could throw in a look what I found for one more, but uh, that card, I want to use it to get clues. I, I do not want to waste on this. Minus three. Oh. We want to just take him by force. I feel like it's bad, but I feel yeah, like yeah, because I only have two fights, so I, and I, I have three fights, so and I'm, then intellect I only have two, so there's like we two. know there's no plus yeah. two. I could draw blue. I might as well keep trying. But yeah, uh, what's your fight? Three. So you try a fight three. So I have to. Oh, okay. I don't know. It's risky. Like we could draw these tokens and things happen. Well, if I draw a token, I do get a plus. Yeah, and you have a, the blue that could give you a plus. This is what I'm saying, like, it's, it, like, there's no bad thing other than, like, a token could be bad. Okay, okay, but this so, one's like, not the worst, actually, for me. Okay, yeah. I'll try it. Like, so might I'm as well three try, right? on four. Might as well try. Okay, so this is... Minus one. Minus one, but if I draw a symbol, I get plus one, so now I'm four on four. So you succeed. So I succeed. There oh, go. wow. Done. Okay. Wow. So we did not fail, so you don't have to grab a monster. And then we're good. So 
uh, wow. we intimidated her into giving you the keys. But we don't have to note that, right? No. Okay. So I don't think it's going to punish us. Okay. Whew. I really thought we were going to fail all those. No, I never re faith, realized man. that my candles were going to... The faith. You were drawing the token from the bag, not me, so I feel good about Nicholson's it. Nicholson's still for that test. Yeah, okay. All right. So Act 2A, the really bad ones, version 1. Daniel is somewhere in the secured basement where the most dangerous patients are kept. Now that you have the key, you can explore this area of the asylum. Ignore the text on the unrevealed side of Arkham locations. Or oh. Arkham Asylum locations. Asylum location. Arkham Sil Asylum location. Arkham Asylum location. So is that. 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 So is this. Oh, so but we it can says, get in all of them? Ignore the text on the unrevealed side. Okay, yeah, so now so we can get in all, all of these. Open, I think. We found the keys. I guess what it's trying to tell okay. us. They're all open. Okay, that's good. Objective. Find the patient confinement location with Daniel Chesterfield. You'll be instructed when to advance. Oh. Find the patient. Oh, oh. Oh, we have to find it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's in one of these unrevealed locations. But that's these, right? These patient confinement locations. Yeah, but we have to but find... But they're not in play yet, right? No. Okay, okay. We have to figure out how. It's not saying to put them in play or anything. No, something okay. will tell us. All right. I have two actions left. Okay. That was good, though. Now yeah. you have that open and you can go see. Yeah, so... I don't know if I should go to the basement, though. I don't feel ready for that. I feel like this should be done before going in the basement. Okay. I don't know. And then go up towards this way. Or is, or it, go towards or is this the way. basement not going to do anything, really? It's just going to say, connect, grab some random confinement stuff. And that's, it's going to be four rooms that attach to it. That's what I think this need to be down here for. It's going to create another row of rooms, probably. And then we got to go one by one looking in the rooms. But that's where the most dangerous crap is. I don't feel like I'm ready for fighting. Then I, don't go yet. Yeah, I don't know. But I do want to see, like, what's in the garden? What's in the kitchen? Yeah, go up this way or come this way. Like, I can get these two, hopefully, and then I can move this way. Or I can get these two one, and go that way. Whatever. two. I'm just going to go here and end here. Crazy as that is, I, I don't know. I want it. I want to do the. You want to incite the fight? Yeah, take one damage to do it. That's not the worst. I, I think it might be worth it. I don't know. Okay. I feel like it'll create a distraction and maybe like it benefits us later in the scenario. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, we don't. We haven't seen it yet. It hasn't asked us about it. Yeah. All right, done. Uh, enemies. This guy's uh, chilling. Yeah. No. Flip. Ready. Draw. Overpower. Okay. Now I'm ready for a fight. Mm -hmm. I got Cal Drogo here on a on a ship ready to fight. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I found the class of the black onyx. So while this is in my hand, I have to increase the cost of all cards in my hand by one. Oh, but you can put but it into play put for it one play. resource. Yeah. And have but it as an asset. Right now it's fine because I don't Okay, so one doom. I could also draw. just discard it for this. I found the yellow sign. Omen, revelation, test, willpower four. If you fail, take two horror and search your deck for a madness weakness. Draw that card and shuffle your deck. Oh. That's a rough one. Yep, four on four. Woo! Of course, I fail. Minus one. Oh, and oh. I randomly choose a monster. Yay! Go under there? Yep. Okay. And now I get to search my deck. Or a madness weakness, draw it and shuffle your deck. I could do rack by nightmares, exhaust all your assets you control, put it into play in your threat area. And I cannot ready assets, but then I can discard this for two actions. Or. Oh, can I get the man? Man in the pallet mask is allowed? Yeah. Ma oh, madness. No. He's just a weakness. Oh, they do that on purpose. Oh, probably just that one, right? Oh, that's an injury. Yeah, it has to one. be this one. Which is not terrible at the moment. So exhaust, exhaust. Exhaust them all. Draw that card and shuffle my deck. Okay. Oh, I got a secret one. Away. Yeah, whatever. First one. This is the one I didn't know. Good. Okay. Um. Hmm? 
I did. You did. Okay. Okay. All right. Our turn. Yes. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll just go and do this. Uh, if there's no clues on the yard, take one damage. And note that we incited the fight? Uh, no, you just remember. Oh, we just remember. Just remember oh, we yeah. incited a the fight time. amongst the patients. Okay. Okay. And then my last two actions, I'll just get rid of this. I'm done. Go ahead. This is fine. Okay, action one. Okay, one. We're going to put this into play, and after it comes into play, place one Doom on it. So for free, I can exhaust this to search the top three cards for a spell card, draw it, and shuffle my deck. Oh, it costs two, actually, because of that stupid thing, which is still fine. Okay, drawing three cards, little candles, quantum flux, or astral travel. So that's the only one. So we're going to put that into my uh, draw it, and then sh i got to shuffle these back into my deck. Okay. Uh, that was action one. Yes, Daniel. It's specifically you. You are crazy. Although the last names don't seem to line up, but I believe that could be really you. You might be <laughs> using a fake name. Probably looks right, right? <laughs> okay. It's one. Uh, I'll go for this as two. Mm -hmm. If I just draw a card. Yeah. Uh, I'm just worried that it'll make make my turn end, but oh, how many actions you have left? Well, I'd have one. I draw a card. Well, the thing is for the victory points. That's really all. All that I know. Right I know. Now. I, 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 there's still more acts, so yeah. getting clues could mean helpful well, later. Well, but... actually, I'm gonna just go for it because if I have the extra action, I'd like to move. If not, if I lose an action, I lose an action. It's fine. Okay. So we're gonna go for it using a uh, right of seeking. On this one, so five on two. I have the candles. Mm -hmm. Minus one, we're good. Get both of these. Get a horror or something. Nope, that's not that one. Oh, okay. Uh, this just like makes me, and I don't have to lose all my turn. Choose, card card choose and hand. discard a card. I'm going to choose and discard this because it does not say that I cannot discard it for any reason. I don't know. Isn't there rules to weaknesses that when they're in your hand? Oh, or is there? I, I don't remember. There's something with that. Let's see if we can find it in the rules box. Oh, these cards represent character flaws, blah, blah, blah. When an investigator draws a weakness with a counter card type, resolve it as if it was drawn. When they draw a weakness with a player card type, for example, asset, resolve any re revelation, add it to their hand. The card may be used as any other player card. Oh, you can use it as a normal player card. If it enters a hand in the manner that did not involve drawing the card, If a weakness is added to a player's deck, hand, or threat area during the play of a scenario, that weakness remains as part of the investigator's deck for the rest of the campaign. No. Oh, here you go. A player may not optionally choose to discard a weakness card from hand unless the card explicitly specifies otherwise. Oh, okay. I think that's what I was looking for. Okay, so then if that's the case, then I have to discard this. Okay, uh, and then I have one more action. I will move to the kitchen. What's happening in the kitchen. Shroud value of two, we're gonna put two clues on it. As an action, if there's no clues in the kitchen, test a willpower of two. If you succeed, if you succeed remember you set a fire in the kitchen. Oh. I feel like we need to make okay. these distractions maybe. Okay, okay, I'll do that. Or maybe can... it's later we need to do them. But I have a feeling it's know. it's going to be making distractions, allow the guards to leave the guarding his cell or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But maybe you only have to do one of them. Like, there oh, might be one in the like... garden. In the garden, you know, do something. Unlock a gate and let the loonies run around or something. I, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I don't need to go there, but... Okay, enemies? No. Nope. Uh, no. Nope. Reset. Oh. oh, put internal injury into play in your threat area at the end of your turn. Take one damage, two actions to discard it. Man, I'm going to get nothing done for a while. 
Manual dexterity. Okay, I'm putting a doom on here. Okay. I am... Did you gain a resource? Nope. I got one now, though. Okay. And I'll draw a card. Walls closing in. It's a terror. Revelation. Test willpower of X, where X is a shroud value of your location. A one. Oh, I like that's that. that's good. That's good. So four on one. Minus one. Here. I did not fail. Okay. Uh, if you fail, da 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 da. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. I got oh, another crush. Okay, discard. Uh, okay, so we're gonna discard item assets from play and or from your hand with a total printed cost of X, where X is a shroud value. Two. Two. And my hand. Oh, can so in this case, this is an asset item. I can I do that or no still. I can't select that, right? Because it's asset item. I still can't use that one. I don't know. It, I think the card has to say on it. Yeah, this card doesn't say you can discard it by any way, right? Oh, no, wait. This is, oh, it is a weakness. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I can't choose no, this. No, I don't think so. This. I don't think so. Okay, so in that case, the only thing is, and where does it go? Um, discard. So it's just the candles. This is an asset ally, sorcerer, asset ritual. Asset spell. And then if I can't discard this one, if I'm not allowed, oh, that's discarded. If I'm not allowed, this is not allowed, and this is not. Okay. Okay. Dang it. I like those candles. All I'm right. I'm going to set Good. fire to the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'll just go first. Yeah. Um, I'm move one into the garden. Okay. Okay. Uh, this says three shroud, two clues on it. Uh, and you can do an action. If there's no clues on the garden, test agility for two. If you succeed, remember that you distracted the guards. Told you. Do you think we need to do more I, than one? I don't know if we need to do more than one, but obviously we got the keys from the lady, which allowed these to happen. So we can Enjoy. go to anywhere we want. That's why I'm going to these locations, yeah, because yeah. now they're available. I feel like the obvious path is to go to the basement, but I feel like that may be a trap where we need to get a little more prepared before we go in the basement. So that's yeah. why I think it's to go this way is not bad. Okay. Well, we I'll try never... to do... Yeah, but do we need to even do those? Is, is this one enough? I don't know. But, but this I one can... wasn't locked, so... I can do this one because it's a five on two. But I feel I like, I feel like doing these is going to be matter later. Yeah. And if it's allowing us to do them now before it asks about them, that might be the only chance we get to do them. Yeah. Or it could later say, oh, you've unlocked this. Now, if you, you know, you have to in the next two turns kind of go get this done or, or if you don't, too bad. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bad well, things I mean, happen. Yeah. Okay. But it's all good. Uh, none of them have victory points on them, but... I have to get those two clues off, which... Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I know how that's happening. You started, right? Uh, yeah, so okay. I moved in here, uh, and then I'm just going to stop the bleeding mm -hmm. and get rid of my internal injury. Done. Eight, done. Okay. I will use my last right of seeking... Ew, just put this stupid card in play. Yeah, I guess I do. So for one, yep, we're going to put that into play. It costs you one to do that, or it's going to cost you one multiple times extra of the cost yeah. of cards you keep trying to yeah. play out of your hand. Okay. Even in weird situations when you're trying to play an event, it's like, whoops, yeah. i got to pay extra I don't have. Yeah. Uh, action two, I'm gaining a resource. Makes sense in a minute. Then I will use Rite of Seeking. On here, action. my last action. So if I do draw yep, yep. a bad card or bad one, that's fine. And I'm five on two. Oh man, I keep drawing these, which is fine because it only does minus one. I was five on two. This just says if I draw this, it ends my turn, which was done anyways. Okay, okay enemies. No. Okay, right that. Cool. Draw. Lucky. Oh, shriveling! Finally. Nice. Okay, good, good, good. Get a resource. resource. Boom. Draw. Uh, ooze and fill. Revelation. Put ooze and fill into play next to the agenda deck. Each location gets plus one shroud. Oh my god. Forest. At the end of the round, discard ooze and fill. Boom. Okay. Got Descent into Madness. It's Surge. Revelation. If you have at least three horror on you, lose one action. Nope. I do not, but this has Surge. Oh, wow. A gift of madness. Oh, oh this hidden, is hidden, hidden, hidden. hidden. Sorry. I, I saw the art. That's all I saw. 
That's disgusting. Okay, I'll show though the chat. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. Oh man. It goes in your hand, or you do something with it right now? Yeah, it goes in my hand. Okay. All right. Sorry. Now we're good to go. Our turns. Mm -hmm. Uh, Man. I'll just go first. Rouds are plus one. So if I do a investigate on here, I have a two versus a four. Laugh me. <laughs> I don't know if I want to even do that. Yeah, I'll just investigate two on four. Honest one. So it's a one on four. And, oh, I failed by three or less. Oh, you were behind. You were the two. Yes, so I'm spending two uh, to discover two total clues from long locations. Yada, yada, yada. Nice. Two clues. All right. That was first action. Second action, if there's no clues, I'm going to do an agility test of two. Uh, I'm going to do an encyclopedia. Get my agility buffed by two, so it's five. Uh, so do five on two. Last one, we're good. So we can remember that you distracted the guards. Distracted the guards and we incited a fight. Boom, done. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is... Still not... Yeah, we're just going to do a little bit of setting up. We're going to play for three, shriveling. Gets five charges because of my ability. Um, for free, I'm going to exhaust spirit speaker. Choose an asset you control with uses charges. Either return the asset to your hand or move all charges from that to your resource. I'll return this card to my hand. You're going to need a doom pop this turn. Well, if I get hit. Oh, it's before that. I can't. That was one. Still not sure what's happening, so I'm going to actually just for two actions, I'm going to discard this from my hand, which is I cannot play events. Okay. Okay, and that's Done. two actions. Enemies. Play that. Three. Nothing. Okay. I kind of wanted to pop to see what happens here to know if Reset. I need to do this. Reset. I think. Yep. Uh, that. Oh. Oh, this is one turn too late. Okay. Actually, is there a window to play that in at some point? What is it? It's an event that's zero. Remove all doom from one card no, you control. No, I think it has to be fast. Yeah. Or, uh... No, that's fine because it's an action. Yeah. That's okay. I kind of want this to flip so I can see. All right. So I drew. But... I gained a resource. You gained a resource? I did. Perfect. Uh, doom. doom. So that will be the six doom on here, but you have one on a card you control. Yep. Okay, so this is seven. The yellow sign. In the back of your mind, your, a force beckons. Have you seen it? It calls you. Glimpsing something in your peripheral vision, you turn and find a familiar symbol appearing back at, at you whenever, wherever you look. It's etched upon the doors, drawn on the walls, painted on the patient's canvases. You cannot escape it. The lead investigator must randomly choose an enemy from among the set-aside monster enemies and shuffle it into the encounter deck without looking at it. Shuffle that up, good. Uh, check the campaign log. If constant domain is not listed under VIP slain. Uh, no, she's not. Search the collection for Constantine domain, a little too sociable, and spawn her in the garden. Yep, sir. You betcha. <laughs> of course she is. We'll get her in a sec. Yeah. Uh, then we're on the last agenda. 
Oh man. His domain. Flee. Flee while you still can. Forced. You would place an enemy beneath the act deck. Shuffle that enemy into the encounter deck instead. Oh, okay. So these weren't bad going under here. It's actually not a bad thing, I guess. At that time. Now it is a bad thing. Weird. Oh, man. But it might still be a bad thing later when we continue through this. But I don't, I don't know. know what we're supposed to do. Oh, we got to go to the basement. Obviously, we got to yeah. the basement. But hopefully this has set us up a little better. Uh, so I'll be right back. We're going to go grab the... Um, Constance Dumain, a little too sociable. Where is she going? I don't even know what set she was in, what scenario that was. That was the... And, and she's like, that's like a card on the back of like a story card or something. Yeah. All right, I'll be right back. Constance Dumaine, a little too sociable, and she is going to go, uh, oh, spawn her in the garden, okay. Oh, with you. Okay. I'm going to go play in the garden. She's in the garden where so maybe you I can are. play her and we can, oh, victory zero, you say. Found her in the garden. She's a hunter. While Constantine Domain is exhausted, she gets plus three fight. She's six damage. We could maybe, uh, maybe you could evade her and then run. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think we need. Okay. All right. So I think we're just drawing encounter cards. That was the Doom that did that. The hidden. Yep. Oh, I got one too. You want to show yours and then I'll look away? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, how many cards do I have? Do you want to go first since you have that enemy with you? Sure. I worry, like, if this flips, we're in trouble here. Like a four to attack and she hunts. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try and evade just uh, yep, I'll just try to evade uh, three on one. Am 
Minus two, we're, we're good. good. I'll move one. I will draw a card. Rit your teeth. No Peter still. Where are you, Peter? Okay. So I'm thinking of ignoring this and just running. Yep, go nuts. Okay. I'm not gonna say that. So one Did you do the thing that's on that location? No, it? that's what I'm saying. I think I'm oh, gonna ignore it. Right? And we've done the two. Uh, if there are no clues on the kitchen, test willpower of two. If you succeed, remember that you set a fire in the kitchen. Yep, whatever you want. This all may be bad. Doing all this stuff might at the end yeah. of the story say if you did all this crazy things, you're a loony bird, you're you're going in the bin. Yeah. But I really think it's good stuff, but go ahead. But then... Go ahead, we already did two of them, so go ahead. We'll find out if you didn't get all three of them and that... Screws us by putting a bad token in the deck or, or in the in the bag or something, then uh, I get to hold that over your head for multiple scenarios going forward. It's great. No, go ahead. Do I, that. It probably is a good thing. No, do it. Go do whatever you okay. want. Do whatever. One, you want. two, <laughs> <care>. three. <laughs> I'll care later though. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> probably is a good thing. Uh, that's me now. Yeah, because it's an extra action. It's a test. It's like you know, it's not easy to do it. Maybe I'll just go do it. I'm just. Okay, uh, oh yeah, so. Okay, that's both of us. Okay. Okay, uh, enemies, no. Hunter, uh, hunter. Nope. nope. Ready? Overpower. I don't know that I this right now, but okay. Alchemical transmutation. Okay, putting a doom okay. on, drawing a Did card. Did you gain a resource? Nope, I got one here though. Okay. All right, so I got myself another lunatic, a maniac, four. Steph engages me. I'm going to take a damage. I need a yeah, three man. damage, please. And oh, come on him. I am going to. Oh, my God, I got another hidden. I just need to spend actually, if you can look away for a second. Dang it. <coughs> 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 Okay, I'm alive still. All right. <laughs> Went down the wrong hole. <laughs> Definitely down the wrong pipe. Holy. Okay. Oh, the game is really killing me. All right. <laughs> um. Reese says, "Okay, oh, yeah, I got the hidden. Yeah, it's it's I it's our turn. Our turn. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to go first and reveal the basement? Yeah, sure. Okay. So I'll move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, excuse me. Sorry, guys, if I was super loud in the mic. I, I, I caught me off guard, obviously. Okay, carry okay, on. Okay, so we're going to the basement. Ooh. Okay, it has a four shroud. We're going to put two clues. Forced. After the basement hall is revealed, put the four set aside patient confinement locations into play. Okay, and this has victory of one as they well. They all connect to that. Two. Yeah, they all connect back to that, and that connects to it. So you can just kind of put them in. Yeah. And they connect to each other? No. no. Okay. Oh, so you want, okay. I, I, I don't know. Okay. They need to be on oh, screen, so sorry, that's the problem. Yeah. And any locations. Uh, you are mm -hmm. here. Okay. An arrow. Yeah. Basement, yes. Okay. What does it say? Sorry. Uh, 
Uh, it says, as an additional cost to enter patient confinement, you must spend a clue. Oh, well, luckily I have four. I know. So if we would have ignored going back those ways, we would have went in the basement, found out we needed clues and we had none, and then would have had to go run around again and do it. So. Okay. So. No, I, we have a bigger table. I, I just need to zoom out more, I guess. Let's do that. Trying to stay as close as possible, but. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm definitely moving to one of these locations. I am thinking about coming back to this once I get my um, right of seeking back in play, but I need some I need some resources for that. So I'm thinking about at least going to check out one of these patient rooms. So I will. I've only used one action. I will spend a clue. Which one should I move to? Let's go to this one. As an additional cost to enter. I paid a clue. All right. Yeah. Daniel oh. Cell. They might be all Daniel Cell. Oh, Who knows? maybe. I don't know what's on the other side. Uh, two shroud, one clue, forest. After patient confinement is revealed, advance to act 2B. Okay, uh -oh. yeah, they may all say that. You're right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 2B. I want to get one shroud on. Or one clue, sorry. Advance to... Oh, 2B's on the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's when it's going to tell us how to advance. Yeah. Ah, okay. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> so I pulled... Three geese in a flock. Uh, when you enter his cell, you find Daniel huddled in a corner of the room, sobbing and rocking back and forth on the ground. No mask. No mask. He stammers over and over. You help him to his feet and try to console him, telling him that he's not crazy. That strange events have been occurring throughout town ever since the king in yellow returned to Arkham. It's Nigel, he exclaims, gripping you tightly. Nigel made us speak his name. He made us speak the oath, and now he lives inside us, controlling us. Don't you understand? He rambles on. We spoke his name, and the price was paid. Haster, Haster, O oh King. You believe you might understand more about the situation if you can calm him down, but you'll have to get him out of, his, out of this asylum if you are to accomplish that. Choose an investigator at patient confinement Daniel's cell. Hmm... Pick me, pick me. I'll choose me. the Kachi. I'll choose the Kachi. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Put the set aside Daniel Chesterfield card. Asset side face up. Asset, yep. Okay. Uh, into play under that investigator's control. Okay, so in this case, I have to lose this card because it is also a asset. No, it's also a uh or a, whatever that is, the head slot. At ally, slot. ally. Oh, companion, companion. Companion? Yeah, yeah, companion. Whatever. We'll get there. Um, shuffle the encounter discard pile and each enemy beneath the act deck into the encounter deck. Oh, okay. We had two. Fun. Okay, now planning the escape is what's new here. Whoa. It says, with or without Daniel, you have to get out of this place as soon as you can. Ignore the text on un the unrevealed side of Arkham Asylum location, same as before. But we can ignore the... Oh. Oh, you didn't have to pay oh, that. Oh, then I'll put right? it back. Where was that? That was on... Was it on the last one? Yeah. Oh, you, is that You didn't have to pay okay, a clue, so I'll right? I'll take that clue back. Because those are Arkham Asylum. You didn't have to spend the clue to get in there. Okay. Because we had oh, the keys, I guess. Oh, I guess we had the keys. You're right, you're right, you're right. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Keep that clue. Got it, I gotta put it back. Um, objective. If investigators have performed four of the following, you must advance. Oh, here we go. Fun times. Yeah! Four of the following. Okay. Know the guards' patrols. We do not, right? But we set a fire in the kitchen? Did no, you do it? I didn't. You piece of... Incite a fight among the patients. We did that. No, no, no. I did that. Okay. Okay. Released a dangerous patient. Oh, no. Not yet. Uh, recalled the way out. Nope. No. And distracted the guards. Oh, well, we've done two. <laughs> I, I also did that one. See, I'm trying to win this for a smell. I'm not like you, not setting fires in kitchens. Okay, I'll, okay, I'll have to show you, how, you why found, that didn't happen. you found Daniel, so I'm sure that's <laughs> important. So we'll roll with it. But. Yeah, okay. Yeah, one of us is not pulling our weight here. 
I don't win the MVP this time. I don't know. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> 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 they did it to me. Mel is the traitor. People Get her. People may or Mel may not know why I did not do that. Yeah, I know. Something a card in your hand is telling you. If you set fire in the kitchen, your investigator is dead. <laughs> You're out of the game. Okay, we've done two of the things. So we've done two of the things. Okay. I don't make it a team game, GG. The chat has been making this a team game. Any game Mel and I play cooperative, somehow the chat turns it into a Rob versus Mel affair. And uh, we're against each other. So <laughs> I'm just kind of like making sure I highlight my wins here when I, when I have them. And they're rare. <laughs> but I'll still lose in the, in the chat size. This guy is actually not the best to have. So you can... Tell me what he does. Let's hold him up to the camera and let's talk about him. Yeah, yeah. So for free, you can exhaust him to give him control to another investigator at your location. Forced, when you take horror, if at least one of the, that horror is not assigned to Daniel, take a damage. And if Daniel Chesterfield leaves play, remove him from the game. One health, three horror he can take. Yeah. Give him to another investor your location, so you might want to toss him. Crazy. Oh, so, you, oh, so he's trying to, like, he, he, he might leave. Like, we need to keep him alive, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But if you don't give him well, a I, horror when you take horror, then I have to take you a take a damage. damage. No, just you take one damage, so you can put it somewhere else. Oh, it's okay. not direct. Well, uh, I don't of course, have... if Daniel leaves play, remove him from the game, which is probably bad. Yeah, we don't want him. To, we don't want that to happen. So we have to figure out how to do two more things. One of them is here, and you're not far. No, it's here. Oh, it's here. And I am far. Oh yeah, you are far. Okay. Okay. But so one of them I is still have letting a patient out is probably like in one of these patient confinement rooms. Yeah, I still do have. One and then more that's action. the fourth thing. Yeah, if we can get there and okay, so maybe I'll try to work on one of those. But we we haven't seen the fourth thing yet. That's just what I assume it would be. Well, we haven't seen. Recalled the way out could be just on the. Oh no, it wouldn't be. We need to advance. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. Yeah. What's the way out? I, I don't, don't recall. I don't. I don't either. No, the guards patrols. We didn't do that either, did we? Nope. Where's that? It's pro probably okay, under so here is a couple. Okay, so then I'll I, just I go assume. through some of There's these. There's no maybe. other location set aside. Oh, no, you know what there are. Remember oh. these we set aside outside of the start of the game? Maybe, maybe something You're was under right. those too. You're right. Maybe. Or, or the, other, uh, the other act that we had. Remember we had two different acts? Maybe one of those did something different? <coughs> but let's... let's... Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Still I still have one more. Hmm. <clears throat> Kachi, uh, oh, put Ashkin's thing back on the second location outside. The yard, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. is that where? You, oh, because yeah, yeah. we shifted the things over. Yeah. Yeah, thank yeah, you. yeah. Okay, so I moved for one, moved for one. So I have one more. I don't need to worry about that clue because it doesn't have a victory on it. So I'm not worried about that. I have to move back to this space because yep. they're not connected. So we'll just end there, and then I'll check something else out next turn. Yeah. I want to be able to get these for another victory. That'd be amazing, but... I, I can try to do that once I can get this back in play. I just oh, okay. need a few more resources. Yeah, yeah. So... No rush. We'll see. Yeah. I'll, I'll go try to do this, though. Yeah, if you can try to do that, I have that, willpower that would four be by very default. helpful. Actually, I'd probably do that next So what is happening? Next Where turn. are we? It's your turn. My turn? I went, I went first to see what the basement uncovered. And we got to remember, this, this guy is a problem, so... Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to move one. Down to here, and then as an action, I'm going to get rid of the one that's not allowing me to move more than oh. one. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. annoying. Uh, and I'm done. Okay, let's uh, start ripping through. Oh, uh, I forgot about oh, this guy. It, monster, uh, um, and then oh, I forgot about lines. this guy. Man, so much happened. I, I forget what's going on. All right, so. Um, Could just evade it. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Let me just do the evade uh, of three on one. Minus one, we're good. Here. Uh, then I will move. Then I will actually just move. No, I can't move more than once. Oh, yeah. You could do... So, let me... Else. Let me just... I think I just draw. Drawing would bring me to... Oh, this counts eight. as a card in hand, right? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... It would bring me to eight. But like I'm really digging for Peter. Or I don't know, just another um another one of those look what I founds, right? But if I seen both, I think I've only seen one. Maybe I saw both. 
Yeah, I only saw one. If I see another one of those, would be great too. Oh, this is not. This is not him. Yeah, yeah. This is at the infirmary. This yeah, guy. Yeah, sorry. It's this a... guy's like chilling over here. Yeah, he only yeah, had one to evade. Let me do this. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I'm still gonna draw because I'm okay even if I have to pitch cards. Like I need to find better stuff. I can use some of these for skill tests and stuff. All right. Yep, I'll just draw. Another lucky. I mean, those are good to have if we come down to yep. tests. Yep. Okay. Uh, done. Flip. Okay. Enemies. Enemies. Uh, She's hunter. Not hunter. Okay. Good. That's good. Okay. Ready? Or I mean, upkeep. Yep. That's uh, first aid. She has no supplies discarded. Spend one supply, heal damage or horror from investigate your location. Oh, okay. Helpful. Pass. I can uh, cancel uh, an attack of an enemy. Good. Gain a re Oh, you know what I should have done? Just put leather coat into play. Two, That's what I should have heard. Five, six. Oh, I have eight. I'm good. Whoops. I'm good. Pitch something. Uh, Sean, dropping in to say hello. This is my wife and my favorite series. You guys are doing love this game. Awesome. awesome. That's awesome. I actually love this game as well. And it's hard to wait a whole week to play each session. Yeah, I don't know. Ugh. Are you? You have nine. Yep. Hmm. I should have just played leather jacket there, leather coat. That was my bad. I should just put it into play. Oops. All right, I'll just get rid of a fight or flight. Unfortunately, I really like a card, but it doesn't have a skill icon on it, so I'm just gonna roll with it. Even though it does, it is fast. Costs me one. Could get me actually more. I only have one horror on me though, so it's really like a plus one. That is good. First aid like has that willpower icon on it. I feel like leather coats to throw away, but I am only three away from dying here, so. Uh. Yep, yeah, fight or flight. Yep, unfortunately. Even though there's monsters coming, they're, they're on their way. But hopefully if we can do this fast enough. <laughs> yeah. Plan. Okay, so I've cleared. Did you put one on here? Uh, nope. Is that really it? All right. Draw. Horrible. If there are no lunatic enemies in play, gain surge. Otherwise, I test willpower there, three, there which I have a four. Otherwise, this guy's gonna come along and attack me. Or does he move along? Yeah, he moves along to me, location by location. Uh, until it reaches my location, engages me, and makes an immediate attack. And this is the guy that does he's, the damage. These two are both. Oh, lunatic. she's lunatic too. Yeah. Does it say which one? The, the nearest, nearest lunatic. And they're both the same yeah, side. So Assuming you get to choose. That's true. Well, let's see if you pass or fail first. I guess. Yeah, but I could throw in some stuff. Oh, man. Yeah, I'll throw a first aid in. Uh, oh, actually, no. Do I have a... No, I don't. Okay. Uh, So first aid, so I have four. Uh, uh, five. Five on three. Five on three. Oh. Uh, so I got a seven on three. And Duke gets ready. Okay, so I succeed. Go ahead. On a maniac. All right, so he's going to engage with me, and we're going to do this whole damage on me and a damage. I am three of six. Yep. And this big horror. Okay. Great. Uh, I really wish I didn't throw away that first aid, but. Whoopsie. Oh my gosh. Okay. <clears throat> uh, you want to go first? Uh, sure.
guess I'll just move one. And then I'll get rid of the card that's stopping me from moving. Done. Okay, All right. Go ahead. Um. <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to try to evade. Yeah, it's easy to evade. So he's not a hunter, so the only problem is as you go between that location, you know, he's gonna engage. I know. So that's fine. whatever. Fine. It's not fine. It might be the thing that kills us, but We're that's gonna... okay. Yeah. Oh, I don't need this. Okay, so I am doing a three on oh, you one. Have a shriveling. You have your fighting spell. Is there not a smart uh... option? Yeah. Oh, this can do two damage. Uh, yeah, I can do it twice. Or do it once, and then when he engages someone else, he instantly dies, at least, when he does the hit on somebody, if it gets that point. So do it once, evade, and move? I, and, or just do well, it let's twice. Well, see, let's see I, what I the first know. one does. Yeah, you're right. I got shriveling. So let's... But it does cause you to take horror, which means tests all become worse. Only if I reveal a token, which I always do. Yep, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And so if I not, take a horror, not. then I have to... No, I want to actually try to evade. I'm going to try to evade because I don't think it's smart. Okay. So we're going to try to evade a three on one. Minus one. We're good. Hanging out in the basement Hanging holes. out in the basement holes. Yeah, that's the one. Um, let's pick this one. Action two. Uh, you found Dreary Cell. Three shroud, one clue, Arkham Asylum location, an action you can test. And then you test intellect of two. Speak to the patient here. If you succeed, you're able to interrupt her ravings. Uh, remember that you know the guard's patrols. There you go. Okay. So you do that, I do oh, the other one. Sorry. And yeah. We are, uh, we are good. Okay. And we can advance this. So then, in this case, I have to do this for an action. Uh, I cannot... Because of this card, I cannot trigger those kind of abilities. <laughs> <laughs> so it says, uh, randomly choose one enemy from among the set-aside monster enemies and place it beneath the act deck without looking at it. Discard the gift of madness misery from your hand. I didn't want to do that before. Okay. Oops, sorry. But uh, what is it happens when this happens? When you would place an enemy beneath uh, it, you shuffle, shuffle it into the encounter enemies. deck instead. Well, I was hoping that maybe I didn't have to trigger any of those. Three things. left, so we're probably not doing that great. <laughs> okay, but that's the end of my turn, so. All right, so what do you think? Uh, but. Enemies, we have a hunter. I think we might be okay. Going this way. Yeah. Okay. Because if you can get this and I, I know, can I get know. this, that's, that's well, four. We hope. we hope. Then we just advance the next one, but there's still another one, so there's more to be done here, and we have this jerk. Uh, okay, so that okay, enemy right. moved. Uh, the rest of the enemies are doing nothing. We reset, flip, ready up some things. Okay, draw. There he is. About effing time you showed up, Peter. <laughs> buy him a watch. I think that's fine. I think I have one. I have oh, seven cards. Seven. We're going to put another eight. Doom. Out of, uh, three out of eight on here. Oh, uh, yeah, get a resource. Going up to five. I drew a mad patient. Oh. Spawn at the nearest asylum halls. Uh, where am I? I'm here, right? Yeah. Asylum halls? That's right here. Oh, this is the it. nearest one with her. Uh, it says, pray, most remaining sanity, but I'm the closest right now, so go after me. And it says, forest, when you attack mad patient, take one horror. Just hits for one damage. A two, two, three. Look at all the enemies. Wow. Okay. Uh, walls closing in. Revelation. Test a willpower of X where X is shroud value or location. What is my shroud value? Three. Three. So I'm five on three. Okay. Five on three. <clears throat> Plus one. Yeah, Whoa. we got it. It failed. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So our turn? Yes. Okay, I'm just going to go. Yes. Uh, move one. And I can do the action. If there's no clues on this, test willpower of two. If you succeed, remember that you set a fire in the kitchen. Uh, yeah, four on two. I'm just going to roll with it. Because I do have Lucky in hand and stuff. I got lots of money. I don't that need is... to do the encyclopedia first, I don't think. Yeah, I don't want to do this yet. Do vict or a victory point. I don't care. Okay. I mean, oh, auto fail. Of oh, course. so then it's... Okay, so then I will do this again as my last action of the turn. Yeah, there's no... Oh, yeah, no, wait. There's... Lucky... 
lucky uh, it goes I'm at a zero this is a fail yeah play if you fail skill test I get plus two so I'd be at a two on two so I still would pass yeah does that work right lucky would lucky be played on that auto fail and pass right because I failed that's a for sure I play this I get plus two which I think changes it from that zero to a plus two and then I pass? Oh, I think that's... Oh, you, you still, still fail? fail? No? Okay. Okay, right. then. I tried. I tried. But you can try again, right? Because you have one more action. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't say only once per turn. So, of course, I drew the token. Like, yeah. I'm thinking, like, oh, no matter what I draw, I'm going to do stuff. Don't think... Yeah, I don't think I can. Yeah. It sounded good, though, in theory. I know. I'm like, plenty of going to play off that zero. But, yeah, I think a fail is a fail in that case. But I mean, yeah, I can play it. I can play it, but I still fail. Okay. If I need to get a card out of hand for some weird reason, minus four. So, so I'm now down to a zero against a two. Now, now is when I play, play Lucky, it. right? Yeah. So for one. Here's me. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So for one, uh, I'm playing this for fast. If I fail, which I do, I'm at zero against two. I'll get plus two. So now I pass two yes. on two. Now you pass. So, so we, we set, set a fire, a fire in, the in the kitchen. So we've done three of four. Okay, and I don't get to put Peter in play, which is why I really want to do that turn with one single action. But of course, okay. I had to waste all my action because I can only pull crap out of the bag usually. Now we're lucky, yeah. I pulled a auto fail and a minus four. Like, come on, man. Gross. Okay, you just need to do your little location. We get to advance, see what's next. And okay. hurry, hurry, hurry. All right. And then get so... out of here with Daniel not dying. Yep. So in this case, I think I need to spend two actions to get rid of this so I can commit cards to the challenge. Oh, you can't put cards in a skill test? No. Nope. Okay. Okay. Because it's a two intellect. Yeah, and I only have two. So it would have been two on two because oh, none okay. of these do anything for yep, that. Yep. So now I can put cards into the skill test. Okay. So we're two on two. I'll make it three. I could make it four. I think I don't need this anymore. I don't know. Or it was, I remember we still have another act coming. Like, we know this, so... But I have clues already. Yeah, I know. I know. So it might, not, it might think... be a boss fight, not clue fight. Yeah. It might be a run out as fast as you can kind of thing. So I, we're going to do four on two because I would like this to succeed. So I am up by two. This is good. Minus one. Oh, we got it. Okay. okay, I didn't need to put that in. So Ugh. now you know the guards' patrols. So now okay. we have four, right? So now right? we must advance, it says, once we have four of them. We must advance. Uh, so I'm going to read the back. Okay. It is a way out. All oh, right. Here we go. An orderly scream echoes across the hall. Within moments, an alarm rings loudly throughout the institution. Nurses and guards rush through the asylum in a desperate attempt to control the situation. You feel dazed, and your vision is spotty, as though you've been struck by something heavy. The walls blur together and twist. Creatures begin to emerge out of crevices and corners that did not exist moments before. Shuffle the encounter discard pile and each enemy beneath the act deck into the encounter deck. Okay. If at least three monster enemies were shuffled in the encounter deck by this effect, the investigator with the lowest willpower discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until a monster enemy is discarded and draw the enemy. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, no asylum. No asylum. All hell has broken loose. So we still ignore the text on unrevealed sides of Arkham locations. The garden gains uh, action. If there is no ready enemy in the garden, resign. Finally, a way out. Objective. If each undefeated investigator is resigned, advance. We got to get all the way over here. Yep. Wow. Yep. And we're at like the farthest locations. Yep. So it's all about evading and okay. getting over there as quick as possible. And if there's no ready enemy in the garden, so you can even evade an enemy in the garden, we can all get out. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you got to get all the way over there. Which you have this guy in your way who's going to come in and, and uh, punch you. And well, he's not going to come in. I got to walk. Through then you have to it. like go upstairs through this one. Yep, this one. And then you got to go across and then up and then out. Yeah. Yeah, you got a far way to go, but I don't know if there's another way. But we don't know. Okay. Yep. Well, I think it's just the garden. Get out of the garden. Okay. And. That was the end of my turn. Okay. That. Okay. So enemies, uh, Hunter is here. Constance Dumaine is going to move over here because I'm the closest one to, yep, yep. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, no other hunters. Other enemies engage with us. They no, punch no. us. Okay. Um, that's video that. cards. Draw. Another Peter. Oh, Peter shows up uh, twice as good here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not really seven. helpful, but I think I need that evade. So okay, grab a resource. Gonna, yeah. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put a doom if I have one on the agenda. Then I'm gonna draw. Uh, oops, it's hidden. Oh no no no, that's not good. Oh my god, I found an enemy. Bad patient. Okay, spawn at the nearest asylum halls. Basement hall, asylum hall. I think this is nearest. Gotta go through. Spawn the nearest. Yes, that's correct. We may have to we have to kill some of them along the way, like with my shriveling. I think it's yep, faster than evading. Absolutely. So, okay. I don't know what to tell you. Like, uh, I'm gonna do my best, but as long as one of us gets there. So, but you can also help by what standing there and just getting well. Surrounded you still by have enemies. to go through these three. I know. So well, this one hunts. So I'm gonna go invade this one. Mm -hmm. But if I just sit there waiting for you somehow no, no. and trying to clear your path. Uh, this one's going to become on part of the path no, no, anyway. No. It'll That's go right. to you. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I can try to like... No, we'll see what defeat. happens, but I can... Well, these guys are horrible, because if they engage me and they do damage, I'll just keep going and get out. But like, if we could defeat this guy, it means less chance of you just taking damage on. We can't let this guy die. So you have only three remaining, and I see two guys at least that are going to... That's two damage on you for sure. Mm -hmm. Unless we get rid of them. Yeah, but I'm saying you have to go through those same... Yep. These same spots. But not so. as many as you. You have one right now, and, and we know more are going to come. So you're, there's more enemies that are going to be here between you and the exit for sure. Yeah. Uh, even maybe in between me and the exit. So you have one, two enemies, three enemies, four enemies. But by the time you get here, it'll be definitely be one more, I think. So five enemies to get through. And I don't know. I can defeat one, but I feel like e even defeating them... We're, they're going to be replaced by more coming off here, maybe? We'll see. We'll see what we can do. It's in here, uh, Yogi. <clears throat> Astral Travel? Is yeah. that something that would have got you across the board or something? Yeah, move to any revealed location. <gasps> wow. But it's in here. So if I get Quantum Flux and I can shuffle... Is there a second shuffle, one in your deck? Uh, I don't think so. It got discarded by uh, the... Well, one you of... chose it, right? Oh, no, it was right I didn't up. have an option. Called? Astral Travel. You only have one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, we'll where are we, we at? Do. What's next? Um, we, we are. Both drew, right? Yeah, and we both did that. So it's our. It's whoever. I mean, I can go first, and yep. we can see where we are. So yep, I'm yep. gonna move for one. If this guy will engage, and we'll do the damage and damage. Yep. So at least I put some away. One damage hit away from dying damage. with the shriveling. No, shriveling does two. Yep. Yeah, one hit away from dying with the shriveling. No, he's at four. Yep, one hit away from dying with a shriveling. So one hit of a shriveling, and he's that much oh. away from dying. One hit, one hit with shriveling. And we'll he's kill dead. Him, right? Oh, sorry, I thought you yep. were saying he's like one away if I did nope. shriveling. Okay. Nope, nope. Yeah, so... one hit, not one damage. Yeah, yeah, one hit away. Just gotta hit him once with shriveling. Hit him good. So I could do a five on three and try to kill him, or I do a one on three to try to evade him. I need to save the evades for yep. like this. Or maybe I try yep. a shriveling. This one's probably a fight, though. But I might take horror. Look at it. Which... Look at, so you have to fight this one, probably, and this one. There's two of these. So these ones are fights because they're only two. Yeah. I don't think I can do shriveling because... But I when can't... you attack them, you take a horror, which you have lots of horror rooms still, right? Yeah, but this also gives me possible horror. So I think I need to not do shriveling on this guy, and I think I yep. need to try to evade. So we're That's doing what I was saying. So five on you, you want to fight these guys. So you don't... Because of so the if horror. If I have this, I can stop one attack if I get stuck somewhere. Okay. So... Let's do a evade of three, four on one. Minus one. Didn't need that, but that's fine. Okay, so that was action two. Go there and I'm stuck here. Gets me for one. Oh, that. Either. No problem. And this guy just stands up and engages with you again. Like, you should have just fought him then. Fine if this guy's not here. 
but no, no, but remember, we're drawing Five. more. We're drawing more. So picture, like, another one of these guys is going to be in your way, too. So you got to, like, prepare for the worst. And we haven't seen monsters yet, but there are more in there. One horror. Fade automatically. Not bad. Which is good for this one, probably, because then you don't have to attack it and take a horror from that. Stay there. Do you just fight that guy in your spot? Dueling? Take another damage when he readies up? Or he could rewind, realizing that he shouldn't have done that? Because there's like, I don't know. I know, but I worry that I take horror from this. Yeah. Plus I take horror from everything else, and then this guy dies because I have to get, I have to take damage. If he doesn't take a horror, I have to take damage. Yeah, but you can take two horror in that case. But yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. And take two. So this guy readies up, auto engages with you. You take a damage, he takes damage. So yeah. you're getting a damage. Like, yeah, I, I, don't so know I, should have, I should have fought him. You're right. Yeah, so we'll rewind if you want and just do a fight. I, I, like, I don't want to tell you, but. Okay, then we'll I, rewind. I rewind. But what did you do as your first action? I moved because I was here. Oh, I thought you started there. No, no, no. Oh, okay, my bad. Okay, so fight instead. I thought instead. you started there. So I was thinking, like, you start mm. there, then you uh, evade that guy, you move, and then you fight. Yeah. But. No. Okay, so I'll rewind that. So I just moved. Yeah, I took yeah, back whatever. my uh, card that I used as, we're going to try to fight. Oh. This might be bad. Bad. So I'm doing a five on three. Five on three. Things in for this. Six on three. You only take a horror if you draw a token, right? Yeah. Like a certain token? Yeah, yeah. So maybe you miss out on it? Every <laughs> time I take it. Every time. Okay, but that did pass. So he's dead. But then I have to take... Uh, I have to take one horror. I can take a horror. But then no, I have to take a damage. I gotta give it to I him. Give it to him. Take damage. Yep, so that's it. Good. Okay. And then I have one more... I have one more action, but I want to stay where I am. Anything gonna help me? So I maybe I draw a card. Maybe I draw a card for just feel like on. Yes. Yes. Oh, another shriveling. I guess. Okay, great. Okay. <coughs> That's me done. Okay. Sorry. Not a very efficient. Okay, so I'm gonna move. Uh, then I'm gonna do an evade test. Of uh, three on one. Minus three. One. I'll just play lucky, I guess. One. Fade. And... Ready up until after, so I don't fight her. No, but then you're in the same situation where you'll have to evade again to move again. Yep. Oh, I should have before going in, but I'll do it now. Yeah, you can do it, Actually. Yeah. Oh, I see. I should have played Peter first. I forgot about his plus one agility stuff. Yeah, so I'll eat. That was a waste of a lucky. Uh, that was bad. I should have looked at my hand first. Uh, but I'll just put Peter into play. I get plus one agility, plus one willpower. You can rewind it. Yeah. It's okay, the same so thing. pretend you I, just didn't I spend paid on Peter. Lucky. Yeah, yeah. 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 I paid, played Peter first. Uh, and... Oh, you would have taken an attack of opportunity, actually. No, I was here. Oh, so I was here. I yeah, played yeah, yeah, Peter. Yeah, yeah. I played Peter first, be smart, which I kept drawing him saying I want him yeah. for the whole game. Forgot yeah. to put him into play first. Uh, but I put him into play. He gives me the best extra agility. I move. Then I do that agility test, which even with the minus three, I'd be at. Four yep. on one. I still be good, and I'm stuck there, but that's fine. Yeah, she won't attack you, so that's fine. Yeah, and that is my turn done. All right, enemies. Uh, these no, are not hunters. No hunter. Okay. Uh, reset. That readies up. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I seven. found David, but I can't play David anymore. Oh, I found the man in the pile of mask. Spawn. Location farthest from all investigators. 
I feel like it's here. One, two, three. Right? One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. You're down here, so all, you're like adjacent yeah. to all of these. So that's not the furthest from all investigators. I feel like we can choose this one, right? Yeah, especially if you want to fight him. But sure. I gain a resource. Did you gain one? Do we want to fight him? I mean, just because it's another. Yes, that investigate thing. Your location gets plus two shroud for this investigation. If you succeed, instead of discovering clues, defeat the man in the pallet mask. So it would be a, a five shroud test. Well, we don't. Yeah. yeah. I could encyclopedia maybe. We fought him four times, so that would make it five if we do. Five. I, uh, okay, I, I we'll see what you. happens. And did you gain a resource, sorry? Oh, if I round, get my lucky. Oh, did I? Yeah, you did. Yeah, I got one back. I, I played this one oh, before. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have two, I have two. I have two, so we're good. One, two, three, seven. Yeah, he is a loose. So, I mean, we can choose based on yeah, how yeah, the situation yeah. yep, is yep, yep. Yeah, okay. But I have this encyclopedia that's cooking here. Well, we're in I, trouble I, here. Cause, mm, I'm adding, yeah, I'm adding five. We're at five out of eight. Oh, my God. One of us needs to get out yeah. in three turns. Okay. So we'll see how. Uh, hopefully we get no more enemies that we have to give out. Uh, descent into madness is a surge. If you have at least three horror on you, lose an action. Nope. Oh, no. Corrosion. Finally see my first. Revelation. Discard item assets from play and or your hand until a total printed resource cost of at least X where X is the shroud value your location. No cards are discarded by effect. Again, surge. Two. Two. Corrosion to items. Items, assets. This is an item. This is an item. Oh, leather coat's an item, but cost zero, of course. Uh, item, item, nope, nope. So it has to be of in play of up to two. That really, really hurts. So it has to be encyclopedia, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that card is terrible. It always hurts. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, how do I, that is really. Well, you have, oh, because the one in your hand is a zero, right? Yep, it's a zero. So is it it's number of cards or at cost? It's cost, cost right? Yeah. Cost of at least X. Yeah, I think that's my only option. Yep, I don't see anything with an item trait other than leather coat. So forget all of that talk about encyclopedia being used because it is gone. What's the discard? Uh, yeah, uh, discard. Yeah, oh wow. Okay, sure. Great. Okay, forget the man in the pallet mask then. Unless I fight him, I guess. Look at this. Okay. I told you. I told you more enemies were coming. Can I put it here? What does it say? Uh, spawn at the nearest asylum hall. That is the only choice. The one I'm on, is that technically the That's nearest? That's a basement hall. Oh, it's a basement hall. This is the oh, asylum hall. This perfect. is the asylum hall. Automatically Remember? evade. Uh, I can spend two. So you can't get away. But I can get there and I can you. make them evade it so that they don't hit me. Like I can exhaust them both. So then they'll both stand up and I have to spend two actions again to get here. But I just, we just got to do what I got to do. And I'm hoping you get out. I think at this point. Okay. Our turn? Yes. My turn's easy if you want me to just go first. Sure. I'm just going to move for one. And then I'm going to spend two actions. I have to do this for each one. So you take horror each time? What it is? Take one more. It. Oh, man. Is that the right way to play that? No, maybe not. Maybe I try to fight them both. I was saying before. Yeah, but now, that was when there shriveling. was. Now there's two. So okay, let's try. We'll fight one. Like otherwise, there's just. <laughs> I know, but this might kill me either way. Is what I'm saying. So I'll just try, I guess. But either you for sure take horror, and then you're still standing there with them, and you have to take yeah. two more again yeah. next okay. turn. Yeah. Or you risk where different... you may not take horror at all. Yeah. Yeah. It's just different when there was only one. Is what I'm saying. Now there's two. It yep, changes which I everything. told you. Okay. There's gonna be more in front of you. There's gonna be more other types. I think yeah. you still have to go. This, you have the same distance as me now, but I still have my rest of my turn. Okay, so spent to shriveling. We're going to fight this one. this one. Oh, when you attack it, I have to take a horror anyways. Okay, so change your mind. Do whatever you want different. Oh, I don't, I don't know. But either way, there's horror involved. Either way, I think I'm dead, right? Because I could give one here. Yep. I'm, not, I'm not dead, but yeah, I'm we'll one lose away. Daniel. I feel like we're losing Daniel here. Because unless I can take no, him No, I think you, I can die. Okay, so sorry, we're rewinding back to here. We're gonna evade one. I take a horror, that can go on him. Evade the other one. I take a horror, that gives me a damage. Because it didn't go. Too shriveling, they're saying. 
Yeah, but I, I, I can't because I have to. I thought you could take up to four horror that way, right? But the horror still has to go here. If it doesn't, you have to take it. Which I just did. Yeah, so I'm one away. Because then this, this gives me. I have to take a horror to evade them. Mm -hmm. This I have to take a horror to attack them. Plus, I could potentially take horror from the attack. Mm -hmm. But then next turn, if assuming you're alive, you'd have to do it all over again. That same thing you just did. That's what I'm saying. I'm dead. You have to get there. That's the only scenario. So I think we're going to potentially lose him. Or he just goes there. I would just do the shrew. Okay. Otherwise, like, what's the point? At least Trivling, you have a chance. Okay. So then I... Okay. One. I have to take a horror to fight one, which goes here. Five on... Five on two. Okay, minus two. Dead. And I have to fight this one. I have to take a, a spend a shriveling. Take a horror. I have to take it. He says I have to take a damage. Five on two again. Oh, my. But this one is. Mm -hmm, that's but I'm still here. Okay. Okay. So, uh. All right, so my turn. I'm gonna do an evade here. Uh, three on one. Uh, four on one. Four on one. That lets me heal. You want damage? Way over here. Direct, huh? yeah, you gotta go there and get engaged with the roach swarm. Minus one. Okay, so you're. Oh, this should be over here with me, but um, I think. Oh yeah, fine, she's fine. uh exhausted. Okay, then I'm going to move in. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then... Fight? So that's engaged. Yeah, engage with me. A horror. I fight. Yeah, I take a horror. It goes on Peter. Fight against two. What do I fight with, though? Two con... Yeah, let's just do Duke on two. Four on two. Four. Yeah, that's fine. fine. A plus one. Okay, so that's your dead. Dead. Get out. So I evaded, I moved, I fought with Duke. Good. Oh, we get to draw a card, right? That's a lunatic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After you defeat a lunatic enemy at this location, draw a card. Magnifying glass. Okay, mm -hmm. that's eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's fine. All right. Uh, flip. Enemies. No. Um, set. Ready up. Cards. Reset cards. Draw. Dexterity. Okay. Question. Can I use this on Daniel? After you, uh, after the skill test is, is successful, heal one horror. Can I heal him? Oh. They like you or anything. Yeah. But I don't know. Find heal in the rule. Uh, oh, he says yeah. Heal is an instruction to remove the indicated amount of damage or the indicated amount of horror from a card. Okay. If a card is healed for more damage or horror than it currently has, remove as much of the indicated amount as possible. Okay. I guess, sure. Thank you, guys, okay. for the help. So that's helpful. Thank you, thank you. All right. Would be helpful. That would be helpful. Okay. Uh, I have to get rid of a card because I have nine in hand. I think. No, I have One, eight. Two, I think. three, One, four, two. five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Ooh. I think I'm going to just toss magnifying glass at this point. Yup. Yup, 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 yup. Okay. All right. Uh, that was that. Uh, okay. He was an right? So that's good. So we're at six out of eight. So 
What's this? <sighs> this Revel card, man. Revelation. Test a willpower of four. If you fail, take two horror and search your deck for a madness weakness and draw that card. Okay, so we need to pass this. We need to pass this. Putting in the fearless. The one that you need to heal the dude with? We're putting in, yeah. But this is what I have to successfully pass. Test. Oh, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So we're putting in. I thought it was just no, an event. No, no, you no, pay no, to no, play no. it and it's we're just done. Putting in that. So I'm right now at. Five, six, seven. Seven on four. Can I put anything else? I couldn't you, put a shrimp. Yeah, on. I thought of this for playing against a masked man, but I might just fight him instead. But just give me plus one. The masked man is a test of five. I have a two. I put this in, that's a one. Uh, and I have only one other thing to put into it. So I, I don't think the in investigate's the way to go on that one. I'm going to go fight on him, if, if anything. If I even do it. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. We're going eight on four. Red token. Oh, but I keep pulling these. It's minus one. So we got it. So fearless triggers where I get to heal him. Yay. I didn't fail, so I don't need to take two horror. Oh, wow. And these are all gone, but that's fine. All right. Our okay. turn? Yes. So... Um... Go ahead and try to fight that guy in advance. This, yeah, this guy is the problem for me, but... Okay, so let me, let me go first. I'll play Leather Coat. I will move. I'll move. I will engage me. And then I will uh, take a damage. And he'll take a damage. I need damage, two each, or one each. Two tokens is what I'm going to say. Uh, so put on Leather Coat. Then, uh, my last action will fight. He's a three. We'll just do a Duke. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'll put an overpower in. So it's a six on three. Plus one. Wow. That's gone. He's gone. I draw a card. Stray cat. Peter's gonna play. Not oh, stray cat. Um, and then I think that's the end of my turn. And then I'll do the Peter Sylvester thing. I may have forgot it before, but we'll get it now. Heal the whore. That's a me done. Go. Okay. Run. Uh, one, two. Mm hmm. This guy's aloof. So I could. Yeah. You just hang out there. He's not gonna do anything to you. Three. Hopefully resign on the next one, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, he's a ready enemy. I, oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fight him, though. No, okay. it just says you can't resign while he's readied. Okay, so that's fine. I'll go there. And I'll I want to go fight turn. him. Yeah, yeah. Cause, but I can maybe throw stuff into your test if I'm there. Yes. Okay, okay. flip so, your thing. I'm there. We're done. Uh, enemies. Uh, he's a Luffy, just, just does the hunter is going to yep. run this way. Okay. Uh, reset. Oh, I think they're saying that I couldn't have healed the this guy, unless it said. Which we I, already looked it up. We're good. We'll just it, roll with it. But, but if that's the case, I can just heal myself and put the one back there. He's under your control, and he's a card. It says you can just do it on a card. If this test is, is successful, heal one horror. So, yeah, what's what's the problem? Just tell us. It's fine. You don't have to tell us after. No, they're saying... Um, you can only heal your investigator unless the card specifically states otherwise. Yeah. It heals only you, not allies. Okay, that's fine. No, 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 that's fine. I'll just do this then. Why doesn't it say on there then heal, you heal one whore then? Like, how, why are you supposed to remember, like, sometimes you is, is for only you. Why don't they just use you on everything that's... Okay, I'll just heal myself. We'll why leave... don't they just say your investigator? It's fine. 
I like still would have used it. They can fit more words on the cards. Like, yeah. they don't need the crappy flavor text. Yeah, that's fine. I still would have used it because worst case, I can give them to yeah, you so at, at that spot if needed. Okay, that's fine. So, so I, re I rewound that. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it said that. I think it's wrong. Show me where, 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 where. Where am I looking in no, the No, because there's two, different, there's two different arguments that are happening here. Yeah, I know. So what, what uh, page in the rules reference for either argument? I want to know. Because this does make a difference. It, it could yeah. be the difference between us having Daniel and passing or having a different whole resolution, which could affect like three scenarios from now. Heal is page 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go to heal on page 12 in the rules reference. Maybe we get more than what was in the rules file. No, it's exactly. Okay. I'll look up that card maybe on, on Arkham DB. Fearless. Oops. Oops. Uh, give me the cards. <laughs> All right. FAQ. Take it from the official FAQ. If you commit this card to another player skill test, and this test successful, you heal one horror, not the other player. Maybe I'm going to look up like allies or compete. But it's going to be in like an FAQ or something. It'll be something that came out later. You think they would put that in the uh, rules reference under healing if it was super important that you can't heal anything else by default? Yeah, because it just says heal one horror, not you heal one horror. Yeah, which is. It feels like a fail that they could have easily put you on there. That would have helped with the uh, little FAQ entry here also. Because then nobody would be asking. Okay, let's read about allies, maybe? Read about allies. Or are they called, yeah, they're called allies, right? Uh, an ally slot, I think they're companions, right? I don't, I don't remember now. Might be a different game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pawn stabilities, force stabilities. I'm thinking about this stuff. Oof. Wait. Okay, I'm just gonna go to the end. Give it a load up. Uh, ally. ally is not an option. Okay, and so companion, companion? Is not an option either. Uh, just assets. Maybe if you read about assets. Oh, maybe assets. Okay, asset cards is four. The cards, page four. Asset card represents allies, talent, spells, yada yada. When you play an asset, it's placed there. Some assets have health or sanity. When an investigator is dealt damage, damage or horror, the investigator may assign some or all of that horror damage to an elbow asset card. So dealing, okay. Most assets will take up one or more horror slots while in play. See slots. Some assets have encounter set icon with no level indicator. Story assets. Yeah, like this doesn't even mm. say that you only have to heal you. Like the, the direct is the only thing that I know about. It's, it's, they, they're very specific about how you can take damage and horror and direct damage and all of that. But yeah. heal, you look under heal and it's like, why isn't that all clarified there? Maybe because we're overthinking it and you're just allowed to take it off of a card like it says. I don't know if people are making up rules or if there's an FAQ entry later or it's just something that a developer said in a BGG post one time and the community just goes with it. So Yogi has something from the FAQ question. Okay, yeah, yeah, if yeah. a card effect says heal, oh, sorry. If a card effect says to heal damage or horror, but doesn't indicate from where, can I use it to heal an asset or an investigator? Uh, answer, no. Heal X or horror is shorthand for heal X or damage horror from your investigator. The card simply reads heal X horror or heals X damage, you can use it to heal horror or damage from your investigator. Cards that allow you to heal other investigators or assets will specify that. Okay. 
That was from the FAQ. I don't know. Oh, right here. Ability refers to your cards and. Oh, I think it's this one, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Doesn't indicate from where. Can I use it to heal assets or investigators other than myself? No, okay. Okay. Short hand. So the word heal is the so I, Like, I wish they updated the rules reference. It's so sad that they don't because it's just another PDF. Super easy to do. But, yeah, because uh, if you were playing at home, you'd have no idea. I know. That is one and you assume scene. when you buy a core set in 2021, it might have updated some things since 2016. That maybe they would, you know, change it, but... Okay. <coughs> lazy. <coughs> lazy. <coughs> uh, but yeah. Card simply reads heal X horror or heal X damage. You can only use it to heal damage from your investigator. Okay. All right, there we go. But that's so it's fine. in the FAQ. So hopefully someone else learned something from this, <laughs> and Thank you. we learned, but we'll forget in the future. But now you guys know, so we also looked it up. So any okay. any kind of debates happen in the chat about it? Boom, FAQ version eighteen, page ten. Nobody says I call garbage. I have totally healed assets with that card, yeah, and people wouldn't know, right? Because if you're not reading the whole FAQ. Yep. That's yeah. what bothers me, the way FFG is treating this game and not updating the rules, like treating that, the PDF as a living document that you can just go open the rules reference and, and use that to read through there and look up things as you're playing, which they advise you do. But instead, they're saying, no, no, there's another, like, you know, 16-page document. You also have to keep open and reference that as you're playing. But you wouldn't know when you need to reference it. No, you just have to reference have it every time you're playing. You have to read through the whole thing ahead of time, see if anything might matter to you during your play. And also look at it every single time a question comes up. Yep. Stupid. Okay, but Super that's... Super stupid. In this case, it's fine. I've put the DM, uh, the whore back on Daniel, and I took one off myself. And then I end my turn there. All still good. And, and the whole idea that they're possibly the next product they're having after that return to Cycle Undone box is a revised core set in the fall. And they may update it then. How much you want to bet? They literally are so lazy. They literally just print the same rules in the same FAQ. Uh, are the same rules reference and the same learn to play guide just shrunk down and smaller to fit in a smaller box or it might be the same size box but you'll see how much you want to bet they're so lazy if they literally reprint that and they just shrink the tokens and, and to fit in like a smaller box and like refine the cards a bit you'll see they're going to be so lazy with it it's just gonna be a huge money grab and they might put some new cards in there so that players who already own you know 17 core sets uh might buy that one also um, which is garbage. So, yeah, m money drives everything. You'll see. You'll see. Uh, so, even if they did update the rules reference at that point, yeah, come on. How, you have to wait for a new product to do it? Garbage. Garbage. So, yeah. Too bad. All right. There, will, there might be less air in the box, but remember, they might shrink everything. So, even the cards maybe will be shrunk and they. This, and you have to start buying new shrunken cards <laughs> just to just to be that perfect ratio of air to product. We'll see. Maybe they make the box bigger because they're going to put more cards in it. I don't know. They need to have that FFG air in there. <laughs> with the most lazy inserts you've ever seen in your life. All right. And yes, Fancy Blade Games is my favorite, pu pu favorite publisher still, FYI, or my favorite brand uh, under Asmodee or in the board game in general, just so everyone knows. Just so everyone knows. Still my favorite. But nobody's perfect. Not even myself. <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, no, that's perfect. But man, some of the things they do just drive me freaking nuts. All right. Okay. I think you were... Excuse me. I think you were here, so you only moved for one, right? I think I played Leather Coat. No, I feel like that yep, last Yep, I played turn. Leather Coat. I moved. I fought. Oh, oh. I, I don't know where we are, to be honest. That's what I've done last. That's what made me end up here. And oh yeah, and you cleared the way for me, so you should have you should have been flipped, is what you're saying, because you went first to clear the way. Maybe, but no, but she's what, here. What I don't think you have gone. I don't think so either. I, I think feel I like went then first. we drew cards and did new things. Because I think I ran. No, maybe we didn't, because there's a dead guy here. But 
Does anyone remember where we are in the game? Bef Wait, we were looking up a rule. What was the rule we were looking up? Maybe that answers it. Healing him. Yeah, but that was on my turn. I still don't know if you have gone. That's the question. You're refreshed. Mel just forgot to. So I don't think either of us has done anything that far yet. So you oh. didn't refresh everything. Because that's why I flipped oh, okay. myself so back over. Full end I readied up I my cards. Left. Okay. Okay, I feel like maybe a Doom hasn't gone on this yet. Do nice. we draw cards? Do we get resources? I don't know. That's the problem. I just don't know where we are. Uh, so we can rewind the stream and kind of try to figure it out, if, if unless anyone knows. This is a problem. We went too deep down a rabbit hole with the uh, rules look up. Like, I remember what I did last in my turn. I just don't remember where we are in the whole flow of the phase. There's us. Yeah, you're still over here. I went first. I cleared the way. Yeah. And you I went know. and got it stuck up there in the garden. I drew a manual. No, no, that's, no, that's whoops, I went the wrong yeah, way. Um... I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. I think that's maybe all that happened. And then we started arguing about, uh, or started getting involved in the argument but about. I... Yeah, you debated staying with me. Yeah, but look, I flipped. No, that's still your turn. You're still deciding, do I stay here with you now, or do I oh. go here? And oh, you I ended see. there. And you flipped. We've yeah. reset. And then I flipped. Okay, and then reset. Okay. I feel like she moved. Yep, she moves right there. Yep, she moved. You're looking at the you chat. Flip. I'm looking at the chat. I re got to ready up my cards. Oh, okay, then we start talking about there. So we stopped there. We just readied. We didn't draw. We didn't gain resources yep. yet. Yeah, I readied my cards. I flipped my dude. And then we started going rules look ups. Okay. And so you just we... didn't flip your thing, but you did Okay, that. so we're drawing cards. Okay. Yeah, because then we start talking about this. Okay, perfect, perfect. We'll draw? Yep. Okay, sure. That's not going to be any help at this point. Uh, I don't know what my least favorite games company is, uh, Brian. I probably don't know them. <laughs> or I probably don't remember them because I've forgotten them and wiped them out of my memory. So, yeah. So I don't know who my least favorite is. Uh, oh, that's helpful. Deception. Helpful for an investigate against him. I'm not doing that because I still don't have enough. Oh. With help from I me? threw away the magnifying glass. Maybe with you. Yeah, I can try it that way. I mean, I don't but know. But I also can try fighting, and that might be a better way, too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe not, because he needs three damage, so I have to do two fights. Yeah. Okay. But I do have an axe, which I can, like, dump all my resources to make a crazy test. Yeah. And... Oh, we don't have much time here, because now... So we've I understand. Refresh. I'm putting seven out of eight. Please don't give us enemies to deal with. Uh, Roach Swarm! Mm -hmm. Another enemy that'll be at our spot in red. Oh, he's at this spot. Oh, he's an evade of three. Oh, his, his fight is only one, because the Shroud's one. Okay, so I got this one, which is going to spawn with me. He has Retaliate, Most Horror Force. After you successfully evade the spawn uh, of oh, Halley... You shouldn't have ended there. I didn't even realize. By yeah. two or less. You shouldn't have ended there, because we knew we might get monsters, and then now they're here, and you can't resign until they're all exhausted. Or defeated, I guess. Yeah, so you should have stayed with me here, so at least those enemies, we'd get them. And then we could evade them and run to there if we needed. Yeah. That, that was bad play, bad play. Yeah. But yeah, now we see. Okay, well, oh, we'll take see. a resource. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you. I think you have to go first. I could, I could resign. Oh no, I can't resign because it says right that you can't resign. Well, yeah, they uh, yeah. no readied enemies at that location, oh, which you have got two now. So, so we probably and we're shouldn't about have to do put, this, which we, is probably a fail. We shouldn't there. have put that guy here. It's probably one of the things. And we would only have to deal with one. No, you shouldn't have moved in there, so we would only have to deal with one. That's the mistake. Not putting not putting him there is not a mistake. I, I'm loaded, ready for him. I could do so much. I could do both ways to get rid of him uh, and probably still be fine. But the problem is I can't do all that and deal with this new enemy I have before we go. But I, I might be able to deal with him. I might. I might be able to. Maybe I'll do the investigate thing, like you said. It's too bad I got rid of the magnifying glass, but... All good. I have extra stuff. Okay, so fighting a roach swarm, though, is the key. They are one fight. I have dookity duke. So let's dookity duke it up. And we'll do a four on one. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I have to get rid of a card out of hand, actually, first, before we keep going. I'll just get rid of a Peter. Get rid of a Peter. Okay, so sorry. Uh, yeah, because I drew and then I should have discarded. Okay. Um, yeah, fight. Or on. Okay, this is ignore the roach. Ignore the roach. Who will hit me for one damage. 
but he's gonna it, fall. But then I bring him along with me, and yeah. now I have to exhaust him still. Yeah, you have to fight him. Yeah, yeah I, he's only a one. I'd rather fight. not drag him with me and then have to pass evade test. I yeah, because he's a three evade. So. Yeah. Because we can't have readied enemies here, or we can't yeah, resign. Yeah. So. I mean, we have to. I yeah. probably would fail an evade, and then I would try to evade him again. Maybe evade him. Then I'd move. When he's only a one fight, I probably should just go the fight route. Path of least resistance, David. Yeah. That's my logic. Minus four. So that's a minus one. Or, or I mean, uh, I'm down to zero against his one. Uh, it's lucky, unfortunately. Yeah, sure. I'll just do a lucky on him for one. Uh, and he's defeated. Okay. Okay, um, then I'm going to move in huh. a Pallid Mask Man. Ooh. The only problem is uh, to investigate him. I don't need to engage him, but I do if I want to fight him. So I might as well try the investigate route. Uh, Just FYI, I might die and we might lose Daniel here. Because if I invade him, I have to take horror. If I uh, evade him by... Successfully evade this guy by two or less. I have to take a horror, which would kill me. Um, and if I fight him, I could take horror. So with one action I have, I could engage him myself. Is what you want me to do? Is that is that what you're telling well, me? Well, I'm just I'm just asking if like I, I need to know what my options are here because I have one action left. Yeah, I'm on just saying turn. if you or I can stay if, out of the location because if I stay out of it, then uh, if I take new enemies, they don't happen here, which is important. So if I go in, I have one action. So you're, are you saying I need to pull this enemy away from you so you survive? Is that is that what you're telling me? Well, so After Daniel you successfully survives. evade spawn of Halley by two or less, take one horror. You got to evade it by like two or more. Yeah. Or which, three or more. Which I'm doing three. I can put in. He's a two. So you can mostly I get can, as like a plus one. I can try by putting in two, three. I can put in four, so I can I'm, try. I'm with you. So I, I have okay, evade stuff. Okay, then I, I'll try. I can maybe help. I'll try then. If you'd rather risk it that way. No, no, no. It's okay, fine. So you do what you're doing. Man in the Pallid Mask. Yeah. Good old Man in the Pallid Mask. So when this hits, we might lose? Yeah, so one of us needs to resign right now at least so that we can... I don't. We. I think you're right. I don't think we can get it. Uh, yeah, I can't. Hmm. Yep. Well, I don't know if this I is can't penalized. resign. You, there's two ready enemies here, so I can't resign this turn anyway. I have a card in hand that doesn't allow me to resign anyway. So. Oh. Yeah, so I'm just going to... Yeah, go, go with what you're going to try. I'm going to try to evade him for a ton, and then I'll try to resign. Yeah, let me try maybe this, that'll say something Let me good. try this investigate here. Uh, plus two shrouds. So this is an investigation of five, if I want to try to get rid of this guy. Five. Mm -hmm. So I investigate with two. And yeah, I really can't do the investigate, I don't think. I can give you one, if that's... Yeah, sure. Let's just try. Uh, I'm going to do investigate of two, uh, three, or five. Six. Six on five. <laughs> well, I mean, oh, yeah, see if you can pull so another one of those plus ones. Yeah, I doubt it, but sure. Uh, I don't have lucky in hand anymore, unfortunately. Yep. No tricks. No tricks. <laughs> Minus one only. Oh, you got it. Beautiful. He's, he's gone. I draw a card, too, from the perception. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. I can get that uh, encyclopedia back, guys. <laughs> All right. I'm going to add another tally mark because we beat him again. So yeah, that's great. five. Uh, so I'll just, I don't know. He'll go here. But I'm thinking if I can evade this guy and then I can resign, maybe this will say if one investigator is resigned or something. Maybe. I don't know. Good. But sure. I'm, no, I can. I can help you. We'll see. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to try to investigate, or I'm, I mean evade, evade, evade. Okay. Okay. Uh, I have three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Nine. Nine on two. But I have to succeed by more than two. And red token. 
Red token. Rob flips the table and never plays this game again. No. Oh, it's this a is... minus X. X is the amount of horror on you. One. Wait, sweet. So. So I draw a card from me playing this. Same. Right. I'm yeah. Pretty sure that's how that works. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dumb luck. Oh, more evading stuff. Fast. After you fail skill test by two or less during an evasion attempt against a non-elite enemy, place that enemy on top of the encounter deck. I just got another David. Okay. So that was action one. I will resign an action, right? If yep. There's, if there's yeah. no ready enemy at the garden, resign. Finally, okay. way out. I'll resign with David. Okay. Okay. Oh. That's what I'm hoping that that just says if then maybe yeah, true, true. it gives us a different option than uh, just fail. Uh, I already went yeah. everything, right? Yeah. Okay. So enemies. One. Oh, this is dead. Uh, this is oh. This is evaded, yep. but it'll ready. What, what, what but we made it, it. It'll be this that tells us, anyways. No, 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 not yet. It'll be this that. Okay. Uh, so reset. Okay. Uh, ready up. And then he'll come. He'll engage me. You're fine. Raw. I'll grit your teeth. Fast play after you fail a skill test. You get plus one for each of the remainder of this round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That on that there? That's eight. That's eight. Right. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah. Masks, masks, masks. Uh oh. The walls close in. Your vision blurs. There is screeching in your ears. You are grabbed and cannot fight back. You call for help, but nobody comes to your aid. You look for a way to escape, but instead you see the pallid mask of the stranger staring back at you around every corner, behind every door, staring at you through every window. That mask. That damned mask. Or perhaps it is you that wears the mask. Each investigator who has not resigned is defeated. Oh. If any investigators resign, those investigators may instead immediately advance to Act 2B. If any investigators resign, those investigators may immediately advance to Act 4B. Okay, that's good. That's what I was hoping was going to happen. All right, uh, escape! Uh, if you took the keys by force, read the following. No. Nope. No. Otherwise, read the following. So it's either resolution two or now we're doing resolution three. Otherwise, read the following. The guards are too busy controlling the situation and restraining the asylum's patients to notice you're escaped. Resolution three. So if I'm defeated not by taking horror damage, I don't you, get trauma, right? I think you get to choose. No, I, I, oh, didn't, I didn't take. Oh, okay. I, yeah. Right? Right? I have to read about that again because I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the problem was, guys, I had this in hand, so I, I'd have to spend an action to get a monster before I can even trigger that resign ability. So to make sure Mel got out, I just realized I had to spend all my actions instead to just do everything I could so she can get out. Instead of just spending this on, you know, this when I read this one, I realized I'm probably not going to resign. Because I have to get rid of this card as an action. And I'm probably on a turn not going to be in the location. I've dealt with the enemies of the location. And spend this. And have an action to resign after. So I just knew this was kind of a... Hi, Rob, you can't resign this turn or this game. Ha ha ha. Especially with how much Doom was left. So, anyways, that, that's, that's why I did what I, I was doing. That's so. funny because that same card I had in the kitchen. Yeah. It's wow, so it's annoying. annoying. So okay, annoying. what am I looking up? Defeat? Yeah, defeat. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if, if an investigator is considered defeated, but they, didn't be de they weren't defeated by taking horror or sanity maxed out, I still choose. Yeah, I still I take trauma. Choose. Okay. So oh, I maybe choose. it's elimination, not defeat. It's yeah, it's elimination. 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 That sucks. Okay. Let's read this. It's on page 10. Of okay. So yeah, let's read the resolution. I agree, but... Uh... Yeah, I just was curious if anyone knew off the top of their head, but we'll, we'll, I have it open, so we'll read after. Uh, okay, so let's read this. Resolution 3, right? Oh. Uh, let's see. Sorry. Before resolving any other resolution, if at least one investigator was defeated, the defeated investigator reads investigator defeated first. Uh, Dr. Mintz, the patient has been medicated and is ready to see you now. Nurse Heather opened the file on the desk nearby, taking a moment to review the patient's records. Any changes in the patient's condition? Dr. Mintz asked in a monotone voice. Monotone voice. A formality. Both knew the patient was beyond repair. None. The patient's delusions remain. Manning to speak with the warden, claiming they are only guests, and rambling about that play that aired the other night, The King in Yellow. 
and their other crimes? The incident in the theater? What about 1452 Atlantic Avenue? They believe they were attacked and were defending themselves. Her voice was thick with pity. What could have caused somebody to snap like this so quickly? None of the patient's records show any prior history of mental instability. Can you make any sense of it, Doctor? Who could? Dr. Min sighed and stood grabbing the file from his desk. My job is not to understand. It is to cure. Perhaps my experimental procedures will prove fruitful on this one. Nurse winced and felt goosebumps on her arm. She knew how his procedures would turn out and she doubted it would prove anything. Each investigator is defeated is driven insane. If there's not enough investigators to continue the campaign, the campaign is over and players lose. Whoa. Uh, if any other resolution was reached, the remaining investigators proceed to that resolution. If no resolution was reached, go to resolution one. So I'm insane, which means I'm taking a mental trauma. Okay. Right? Yeah, you're driven insane. So that I only have five, so I need to see Peter uh, or the bear, like, urgently in every scenario going forward so you take one mental i take one physical every time so resolution three we need to read right here uh each defeat investigator should resolve investigator defeat first uh with the asylum sap distracted and patients running amok you were able to slip away without being noticed you escape deeper into the garden behind the asylum where two a two-story tall fence topped with a barbed wire is all that separates you from the outside world you have little time Don? Insane I'm like not, dead? I'm not... Oh, is insane mean I'm defeated? Like gone out of the game? Oh, okay, perfect. <gasps> okay, perfect. That's not perfect. No, that's good. Uh, that's good. Okay, cool. I wanted to see that. I wanted to see that. That's cool. All right. Um. So, uh, with the asylum staff distracted, uh, running amok, you s you're able to slip away without being noticed. You escape deeper into the garden behind the asylum where a two-story tall fence topped with barbed wire is all that separates you from the outside world. You have little time and need to make far... take. Uh, need to make it far away from the asylum before the guards return to spot you. Using a straitjacket you found inside and uh, to cover the barbed wire, you scale the fence quickly, breaking into a run as you make it out to the other side. In your campaign log, record that the investigators escape the asylum. And then each investigator earns experience equal to victory X of each card in the victory display, which is only uh, two? Yeah, two, because we never saw any of the monsters that have victory on it. And what, the basement hall, uh, we didn't clear. No. So we only get two experience each. Uh, if Constant Domain, a little too sociable, is in the victory display, record her name in your thing under VIP slain. So it's like we kind of need to slay these VIPs, I feel, for forward purposes. But yeah. Uh, remove all of, oh, okay, remove all these tokens. Here, let's do this. You're going to take out all the tokens uh, that have a cultist. So leave all the skulls in and take out those two cultists. Then you're going to put instead put two elder thing tokens in. Then I'm going to proceed to interlude two lost soul. Uh, if the ally version of Daniel Chesterfield was in play when the serum and it proceed to Daniel survived. Okay. You decide to lay low for some time in Ma's boarding house and hide Daniel from the authorities. Although you're unsure how long you'll be able to stay in Arkham with an escaped asylum patient, Daniel is a loose cannon, dazed and unresponsive one moment, and screaming for his life the next. It takes several days for him to realize he's no longer institutionalized, which for some reason makes him even more terrified. He is coming for me. He is coming for me. He rambles, sometimes for hours at a time. Finally, during an unusually warm and starry night, Daniel is calm enough to open up to you. The King in Yellow is ju not just a play, he explains. It's being named... It's a being named Haster, and he's already claimed me, but there's still time for you. You are not yet possessed. You have yet to speak the oath. Whatever you do, speak not his name. Do not give in. You ask him about the strange events that have happened across, or that are happening across, have been happening across town, and of the cultists and creatures you've encountered. They are trying to find Carcosa, he says matter-of-factly. You recognize the name as a fictional city from the play, the one King in Yellow rules over. They want to release Haster from his prison, but you can open the way to Carcosa before they do. You can seal Haster for good. He grips you tightly as he rants, quickly, before the stranger discovers our plan. Hours later, Daniel is incoherent and unresponsive once more. Take a long walk to ease your thoughts, mulling over this new information. You're unsure what to, take, what to make of his wild claims. Before you can make a decision about what to do next, 
You return to find the door to your room broken open. Daniel lies in a heap on the ground, his face colorless and body limp. Judging from the bruising around his neck, you surmise that he has been choked to death. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, no. Each investigator earns two additional experience as they gain insight into the machinations of the Tattered King. Sweet. Yay. That's good. All right, so I'm not as salty about the experience that is hiding in the encounter deck we did not see. Uh, the investigators must decide. Choose one. Possessions. Oaths. There must be another explanation for all of this. Proceed to ignore the warning. So if we don't believe what this crazy dude's talking about, we ignore the warning. Or we must heed Daniel's warning. We must not speak the name of the king in yellow. Proceed to heed the warning. I would vote heed the warning. Mel, what would yeah, you vote? Yeah, I think okay. so because I heed think the warning. that one's Done. bad, yeah. Let's see if that helps us out. Uh, where is... No, heed the warning right here on the right. Okay, heed the warning. For hours, you struggle with this insight into the king in yellow. What is true? What is real? You can only sort through this madness. In your campaign log, record that you heeded Daniel's warning. Heeded Daniel's warning. And mark two conviction in your campaign log. Each investigator earns one additional experience. I don't, know wow. if this I don't know if this helps me at all with my guy dying. If, I don't know what that if, if even If I means. even get experience, I don't know. I will have to look it up uh, because I'm not sure. I, I don't know how to deal with this situation, but we'll find out. Um, and then it says, for the remainder of the campaign, anytime an investigator speaks the name of allowed during a scenario or during the setup. Okay, so you can do it in the resolution. So I'm going to read it now, but this doesn't count. Okay, anyone keeping track? This is not during a scenario. Or during setup. This is resolution. Oh, sure. So well, I don't I'm know if, forget I, if that counts. I'm going to forget this. For the, the remainder of the campaign, anytime an investigator speaks the name of Haster aloud during a scenario or during setup of a scenario, that investigator must immediately take one horror. I'm so as long as we're in a, if, if we're in a stream uh, playing uh, Cthulhu Death May Die, we're allowed to, to mention his name if we're playing with him as the boss and talking about it. But if we're in an Arkham Horror the card game scenario, now, and it's only for this campaign, so, it, you know, in, in like nine months we're on a different campaign, we're allowed to say it, okay? They're going to put it in here on purpose, randomly. I know, and I'm going to forget it. And I'm going to forget. I, I forget what's in my deck the next week. Like, I, 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 have... I don't even, I'm not going to remember this. Can someone who is here regularly, like maybe Yogi, if you can maybe put a comment in the chat next week when we start, yeah, saying, yeah. do not say this name. Anyone so I remember. watching this now, <laughs> if you're in the start of any future Path yeah, of Kirkland playthrough, just give us a reminder at the start saying, please do not say Hastard before we get started. Because we won't consider that set up. We won't consider that set up yet. Well, they can say it. We just won't read it out loud. Oh, well, we might accidentally because we'll forget the rule. So as we're reading their chat out loud, no, I'm also yeah, yeah. doing this. So, I also so put So if you guys can just help us out, if whoever's here near the start of a scenario going forward in this campaign, just throw us a reminder at the very beginning. Oh, no. <laughs> we won't say no, it. No, 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 no. We won't say it if okay. that's the case. So Super Chats, I will not read those out loud, that name. I will try not to, so don't try it. Don't waste your money. I'm going to try to remember not to. I also did this yeah. on our sheet. Do not say. Okay, Mel put it on our campaign log, and she's going to find a highlighter after. Yeah. And uh, gonna, put that Yeah, somewhere. I just wrote on the bottom, like, do I'm, not say it. I'm going to find a post-it, put it on my deck, in my deck box, uh, and try to but remind yeah, myself. create a nickname. We should create a nickname for him. The one who shall not be named? <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you it just gives you a horror, worst case. But yeah, but still. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. When we're doing pre-game and chatting with the chat before we start setup, we're good. We're good. Yeah, because we haven't started yet. So that's why I'm saying if they remind us while we're just chatting at the beginning of a playthrough, that doesn't count as setup yet, even though we may have done a little bit of setup to get it on camera, but uh, okay. we haven't gone through the setup yet. Okay. All right. So this is gonna be fun. I do it's like I do fun. like things of this. But if if two if we were playing this together, or you're playing solo, and you forget this is an option, and you just keep playing by yourself, you're um, just playing in a room solo in your own game room. You're not streaming. You read this, and then you play like a week or two later to continue the scenarios. What if you don't remember? Like, it just doesn't happen. Who cares? Yeah, right? you just don't take the horror. Yeah, so it's funny. But I want to be kept to task on this. I think yeah. it's hilarious. Uh, proceed to Scenario 5 of Phantom of Truth. Is that what I schedule for next week? <laughs> I don't know. I scheduled it today, but I, I just like did a quick cut and paste. I think I got the right one. I just don't know if it's skipping one or not. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah. Uh, no, no, right here, right here. Phantom of Truth. So 
So it's already scheduled, so when the stream ends, it's going to kick you guys to this one. You can set a reminder, or subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on by hitting the alarm bell. Uh, or there's a playlist link down in the video description of this video. And you can click this and set a reminder, or you can just go to youtube.com forward slash Rob's Gaming Table while I'm here and I remember. And you can click on this, and if you're logged into YouTube, I'm not on this browser, you can set a, you'll have a set reminder button here. And you can be reminded, even if the time changes or the date changes for some reason, uh, you will get a notification when we go live. Well, hopefully that helps. Hopefully that helps. Okay, so, so nothing else we need to read. No, we just need to figure out what happens with you. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm driven insane, which I think they were saying, oh, my guy's dead, right? Oh, my God. Yeah, killed or driven insane means dead, like gone. Do you need to get a new deck? Yeah, I think I, I get to play with a new investigator, which sounds amazing to me. Like, I'm so excited. That's so <laughs> amazing. Uh, during campaign play, investigate. But if we both didn't make it, that's crazy. It just, we'd been done. And we could go play in a whole other campaign. That would have been amazing. Amazing? I don't yeah, know. Yeah. But a lot, like, not but, then, then half... but everyone's seen this this yeah, campaign. Yeah, yeah. Who cares? It just yeah. get, would get us further and playing to newer stuff that, like, would be more fun. Um, and then we could just come back to this in the future and play, like, a return to or something. That would be fun, I think. So do your XP count for the new deck that you build? You have... I don't know. I, that's what I want to read. Uh, so during campaign play, investigators who are killed or driven insane must be recorded in your campaign log and cannot be used for the remainder of the campaign. Good thing we have like 75 investigators to choose from <laughs> that I can't even fit them all on a poll. So like whatever, man. Uh, an investigator with physical trauma equal to or higher than his printed health is killed. Okay. Mental is driven insane. Investigator may also be killed or driven insane by a card ability or during a scenario's resolution. Oh my gosh. I didn't know that was even a thing. Yeah. I didn't realize you could like insta die. I thought I would just get like fail and then I would get a horror on me. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh, no XP for new investigators. Okay, okay cool. Okay, because it's attached to this guy? Yeah, hey, that's fine, whatever. So I start at like a level zero, like crappy deck when we're in the middle of a campaign and we've already leveled up the bag and the scenario probably assumes you have leveled up. Is that like normal? That seems weird. That's like a weird way to do it because then you're like, then you're climbing up an even steeper hill, right? I feel like hmm. you should still get the XP that we are in this scenario. No, it probably doesn't work. I, I don't know. It just seems weird. There's no way getting a new investigator they don't give you like some free experience to kind of like catch up. Oh, well, supposedly MJ clarified you can get XP from a scenario you died in. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, how would because you know? Because it didn't say only characters that survived gain XP based on this. It just said the investigator. So I feel like you can use it. Oh, you don't have the clarification for that? Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, I mean, we can kind of look into it more. But, <sighs> so how are you going to, are you just going to pick and how are you going to No, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I have no idea. I don't really care right now, but. No, you don't. It's in the rules. Oh, do you know where, David? Hmm. Oh, Where garbage. would you even know? I know. So much crap to like wade through. Oh, not fun. Problem with lifestyle games. Like they just assume you, this is the only game you're playing in your life and Dave, you just memorize everything. David's looking for us. Thank you. Um, was a reddit post mj clarifies this mm. can't seem to find post the link oh what, you what can't do i what do i google link? aaron just to find it yeah you can't post links in the chat but it's obviously from spamming spamming stupid junk but uh <sighs> i know it's useful but uh arkham for investigator died xp I, I don't know Two years ago, someone I talked to here claimed investigators defeated, in spoiler, uh, and they're driven insane. A new investigator placed him will receive the XP from this scenario. They claim this is because in the line in the resolution about being driven insane comes before the line that says investigators get XP. This is true. This is true. This would also apply to investigator getting killed by something. What? Uh...
Rulebook state says that an investigator joins the campaign in between scenarios, considers the upcoming scenarios the first one played. That sounds right to me. Makes sense. Oh, yeah, the man the pallet mask needs to go to you. Oh. So change sleeves on that after mm -hmm. an hour. Oh, I guess there's a spoilers uh, question about resolution one of the unspeakable oath. That? It's this one right here. Oh. Resolution one of unspeakable oath. See spoiler. Blah 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 blah. Edit greeting. Sorry. Blah 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 blah. Oh, this is Matthew Newman. Here we oh. go. Each investigator's experience equal to this in the display, etc. Any confident opinions, reasonings, or rulings on this matter? Edit. Greetings. Sorry for the wait. The team had to review this question a few times to see how it interacts with the scenario, previous scenarios, and future scenarios. The answer to this may seem a little counterintuitive, so I apologize for that. Generally speaking, effects from the scenario resolutions should only affect the investigators who were present when playing the scenario, unless explicitly stated otherwise. This is true even if an investigator is killed or driven insane. So normally, if an investigator is killed during a scenario or during the resolution of a scenario, the remainder of the bullet points, such as experience gained or rewards granted, would still affect the recently killed investigator. After all, most players probably would not have chosen their new investigator and or built their new investigator decks by that time. Even though this seems odd, there will be a time in the future when knowing how much experience a killed slash insane investigator has is relevant due to a card effect or a scenario resolution or for bragging rights. I had 35 XP when I died. How about you? <laughs> Psh, that's nothing. I had 42. Oh my God. I'm on 42. Uh, whenever the text in this particular resolution is unique in this regard, it in that it instructs the players to choose a new investigator from the pool of available investigators, then instructs the players to transfer the clasp of the Black Onyx to a new investigator. One of the new investigators just chosen to replace the investigators who were driven insane. As such, it follows that the experience in the bullet point following that one should also be applied to new investigators, not the insane investigators. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It was after. Like, it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it says, like, your guy's dead, but then technically that is when your guy dies, you have to have a new one. I, but I don't know. It's worth noting that the only other resolution written in this way is Resolution 3 of The Gathering, which instructs the players to choose new investigators, then tells the players to choose an investigator to earn Lita Chandler. This instruction should likewise be applied to the new investigators, not the recently killed investigators. Unlike Resolution 1 in The Unspeakable Oath... Oh, this is about Resolution 1. We yeah, have we Resolution didn't... 3? Yeah. This isn't even about the same resolution. Because we or did I read R1? I don't know. Was it R1 I was reading? I don't think so. What am I reading? Uh before resolving at least one investor defeat. Oh, I was reading investigator defeat. Yeah, which we had to read that first. And then it says if no resolution was reached, then go to resolution one, which we didn't do. Resolution one. Word that the king claimed his victims. There's not enough to continue. It's over and you lose. Yeah, it's the same thing. Where we did the defeat first, and then it went to the resolution where it gave all the XP. Then check the campaign log. And then earn victory points, which is the same that it did for resolution three. Because it told you specifically, do your defeat first. And go to resolution three. <sighs> right here. Eat up a little bit. Where it just says right here, each defeat investigator should resolve the investigator defeat first. Okay. So and then it gives us the XP, which yeah. is why so I would each think each one who was defeated driven insane. Okay, so I was driven insane, and what's it saying? At that point, I'm supposed to choose a new investigator, get it all set up, and then continue on. Yeah, this is super weird. Yeah, because then you would go to the resolution. Yeah. So. This is not the resolution I got, so, but how is it different? Yeah, it's not. That's what I'm trying to understand. Tell it's, me how it's different. It's not. Because it may just be what that player got. 
they got resolution one, so they were curious. Doesn't mean they don't do the same thing, right? Uh, there's not enough. Check the campaign log. Onyx clasp. Then each investigator earns equal to X. So Aaron says the order of things happen as you read them. If the resolution says to pick a new investigator and everything later applies to the new investigator. Summary. Which is kind of what it's doing here. But here no, no, no. But look what this one does. Uh, it might be different. If there are not enough investigators to continue the campaign, it's over and players lose. Otherwise, it continues. Each player chooses a new investigator. Is that what it says on three? No. Or, or on defeat? Yeah, see, this one says each investigator is defeated is driven insane. If there's not enough to continue, players lose. And then if you go to resolution... What, 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 what? Let me keep going. If another resolution was reached, the remaining investigators go to that resolution. So then I go to three. Okay, so I'm still defeated. Yeah, this one, I think I don't get it, right? Because I haven't chosen a new investigator yet. No. Oh. <laughs> so stupid. This game sometimes just makes me like, I don't know why I'm playing it. It's just such a mess. Um... But yeah, however, the text in the particular resolution. I think it's a summary that's here to sum it up. Okay, to sum it up, generally speaking, resolution effects such as rewards, experience, and weaknesses are granted only to investigators present in the scenario. Each investigator who were killed or driven insane, even, even, even investigators who were killed or driven insane during that scenario. Okay, so. My investigator who is dead gets more XP. Okay, great. Uh, if the resolution specifically instructs the players to choose new investigators, any resolution effects that follow apply to the new ones. Didn't okay, in didn't, our case. Yeah, it didn't. Otherwise, new investigators would be chosen during the intern, interim between previous scenario resolution and the introduction of the next. I hope this answers your question and resolves any issues that pop up in the future. Not that I plan on killing or driving more investigators insane or anything. What? Don't give me that look. You'll be fine. What? I get the XP? No, this does... I don't think you do. Where the hell? Now I get the XP? I don't think you do. It told you to gain XP after picking an investigator. No, it didn't. I, I didn't. Let me go back to the resolution. We just figured that out. But, but remember, that okay, was let me read. Let me read. One. Let me read it instead of just glossing it over. Maybe I'm missing something. Okay, okay. So, scenario ended. Let's rewind back in time. Before resolving any other resolution, if at least one investigator was defeated... Rob, you read Defeated Investigators first, okay? So that's when I read all about Dr. Mintz, yada, yada, yada. This guy's insane. I'm locked up, and I can't play with my friends anymore. I, I don't get to try to open the gate and say the name that I shouldn't say. All right. So Ash pete has gone mad. He's done. Okay. Each investigator who was defeated is driven insane. If there's not enough investigators to continue the campaign, the... the it's over and they lose, which is not true, okay? If any other resolution was reached, the remaining investigators proceed. So the, the remaining. Yeah, the remaining. So nowhere has it told me yet to choose a new investigator from the pool. As opposed to resolution one, which we didn't get, which tells you this nice little in brackets here, this is the key that I'm looking for, and it's not in resolution three, I don't think, and it's not in... Um, or it is, but it's after, and it's definitely not an investigator's defeat. Okay, so here it tells me jump to resolution three, which we got. I scroll all the way down. I'm not reading anything else. Resolution three reminds me to reach defeat first. Read defeat first. Then it tells us in campaign log, record that we escaped. Now it says each investigator earns experience, which Ash Campete would earn experience because even though he's defeated, he's still in the scenario. Um. If Constantine, yada yada, displayed, remove the tokens, and proceed to the Lost Souls. So I still haven't picked a new investigator, but, but, let's keep going. Let's keep going. So we'll go to Interlude 2. Okay. Uh, Daniel survived. Read a whole bunch of story. So, again, each investigator earns more experience. Still haven't been told to pick a new investigator, unfortunately. So Ash Campede's racking up all the XP. Great game design. Uh, the investigators must decide. Choose one. We chose. Still hasn't told me to pick anyone. Heed the warning. 
And then he, the warning is somewhere on the right here. Go in our campaign log, we record some stuff, record some more stuff, re earn more experience, still haven't picked a new investigator. And then for the remainder of the campaign and proceed to a new scenario. Yeah, so Pete gets the XP and Duke, they have a party in straight jackets, uh, swimming in a pile of XP. That's it. That's what I get from all that, right? Because this whole thing was about resolution one, which actually has those brackets in it, which none of the other resolutions have, which says each player whose investigator has been defeated, you know, driven insane, gets to grab a new one from the pool. So they're okay with one investigator dying in this playthrough and losing all of its experience, really. And the rest of the players at the table, even if it's only one other, you're fine to keep your XP, keep leveling up your character, keep moving forward. But the other player has to start with a scratch deck. And again, the argument can be made that I'm starting with a deck that has no trauma because I could have had trauma and stuff too. Yeah. So they give you advantages in this game, but they also give you punishments too, depending on what's happening. They give you tokens in the bag to make it harder. They give you, you know, harder enemies in later scenarios, maybe, um, you know, harder tasks. They challenge you a bit more. So the challenge is kind of going up a little bit, but also they give you experience points, which you may or may not have earned. And you can put better cards in your deck, like slightly better cards, you know, maybe they give you one more symbol or, a, you know, an extra skill icon or something, you know, maybe a little ability, you know, to change a number, uh, which is cool. It's good. Not game breaking, but they do give you an advantage as you go forward as things get harder. So I just don't like the idea of reset. I have a new character and he has all like zero XP cards in there. That seems weird to me. But then it just makes it harder for me going forward. Because I don't have any cool whatever leveled up cards yet. I, I wish they would not let you transfer the XP from a character. But I feel like there should be some kind of general starting with a new character. Maybe there is. I haven't never started with a new character. I haven't read it yet. I'm going on assumptions here. But I have a feeling, because you guys are saying I get no XP, I'm going with my belief. Um, but yeah, I think that there should be a setup that's like, hey, if you're in the middle of a scenario and you're this, get, get a free 2 XP per scenarios you played already. Just so you can kind of level up a little bit and catch up with your party a bit. Or one XP even. Well, there's there's a thing. Uh, a Maybe they do here. that. Maybe they do that. I no, but know. there's a comment here that says so you don't get the two XP from the resolution, but you could get the three from the interlude, possibly. I don't know. <laughs> That's what's dumb about all of this. There's no clear. Because like, it's giving you in like different steps. Oh yeah, because the resolution is different from the interlude. Yeah, like when would we read the interlude? Right after the resolution, or could we say we read it right before we set up the scenario? Because then it's in the interim. Technically, if we want to say you get three. It's after the resolution. The resolution's over. You can now go pick your deck. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But I would be fine if you take three. I don't know. Any, anyone else have anything they think on this? Rob should get three, right? That seems fair. No, I, I don't know. Is an interlude part of a resolution? Also, does it matter? Have I chose my new investigator by then, in theory? Ah, so oh. Aaron's saying, Aaron's saying I've always played, but that you can pick your new investigator before the interlude. Yeah, see? <laughs> oh, yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> so dumb. This Yo, so you already dumb. mentioned that your playthrough has an asterisk because you were playing that one thing wrong with the heel. Yeah, whatever. It's your <laughs> own it's game. Good. Do it's whatever the hell you game. want. Yeah. Read Dram Jam's post in that thread above. Uh, yeah. the right one. The hell is going? I don't know, I feel like we went to... I know, it's like, continue to the thread, I go to the thread, and it's hiding all the comments, and it's like, I click see all the comments, and it throws me back here. Go up, he's saying. Go up. We may have... Or is it the previous thing I was in that led me to here? Is it this one? 
Yeah, Dran. Oh, okay. Dran Dran. An Arkham Horror S S C dev. There is a thread somewhere that addresses this. The short answer is sweet is no. The new investigator does not get the XP. You're now insane. Was going to get from the scenario, but it does get the XP from the interlude. In this case, it was about three. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Great. Yeah, so let's say you get three. I got <laughs> okay. That. that makes sense. So I Yeah, because get... after resolution, I could go build an investigator deck, technically. Technically. We're not going to right now. <laughs> but you uh, need to figure out. Yeah. Wow, that I, changes I, everything. I think I'm doing a poll. <laughs> a quick one, right? Uh, I don't know Kate here right now, so I, I don't know. I, I'm sure Kate can whip up a deck, but I, I don't want to put that on her if uh, it's, I don't, I want to do a rush job. Um, but the, the problem is, like, I, I did schedule the playthrough for next week. I feel like a week is enough time to figure out the investigator to play. But then the whole deck idea, like, I would love, I, I would love to do like, uh, let's vote, you know, put up a poll for like literally like 24 hours. Uh, our Patreon members and our YouTube members uh, all get to vote to pick our my replacement investigator. You find that answer as quick as possible. Then once we find the winner investigator, the only problem is YouTube members, can, we can only put five on a poll. So I have to do a poll on some other website. That I share a post privately with YouTube members, privately with the Patreon uh, supporters and producers. Mm -hmm. Everyone votes on this, you know, poll like a Survey Monkey or something, right? Some third-party website, and then, uh, like, we could know tomorrow what investigator. Like, I, I could put up a poll today and give it twenty-four hours, and we could know tomorrow afternoon around this time what investigator it is. And if, you know, Bob and Kate and that, I can ask you guys if you have time to work together to build a deck. If you don't, I will just net deck a deck. No problem. I'll do what I've always done, you know, when I don't know a game that well or don't know a character. Where do I start? I don't start by spreading out 2,000 cards on a table. I start by just going, adding, adding my collection to a DB website, going on there, finding deck lists that are, are a, lot of, a lot of likes and have a good descriptions and a lot of comments so I can learn from them, build them, and play them. So I'll probably just net deck the deck. There is some good options asking who was third place in our original poll. I don't remember. Mm. No idea. Uh, yeah, I could actually, hold on. Back. Let me see. Let me see. Maybe I can find on the YouTube member poll to see. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> Speaking of a new member. <laughs> Thank you. Baran. Baran, are we saying that correctly? Baran? 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 Braun just became a producer by hitting the join button down below on YouTube. Thank you. Uh, so you will have an impact on what the next investigator chosen is. Uh, I'll do a new poll, but maybe I can choose it out of the other ones that were in the running. Yeah, the few top, the top. Yeah, five maybe that I are, do that. Yeah, we maybe can do, I do that. that. Maybe I do that. Yeah, so not the two that we won the next five, because we can only do five on YouTube. Yeah, and then I'll do the five on Patreon and then do the same time and then just add the results together. Yeah, yeah that might work. Yeah. Okay, so let me see if I can find that. my youtube page oh no because remember i limited oh, yeah. them down it's, it's in... i limited them down on the patreon poll we could do 20 investigators they voted i grabbed the top like five put them on youtube and the youtube members like kind of broke the ties or whatever you're right yeah it's that's on your what community. i did something like that right your yeah yeah i gotta go to my community tab like a members only post you won't see it oh yeah yeah i do oh I yeah am. oh i'm a member <laughs> i'm a member baby <laughs> all right uh Oh, I can do it like this. Let go. Oh, it's just. Get on the screen a sec, guys. I just yeah, have no, to. No. Uh... I have a rule that every new member has to give you a phonetic spelling of their name. Well, we no, try our best, it, but fine. if we are saying it wrong, please correct us. It's fine. We just want to make sure we're saying it correctly. Or as best as we can. As best we can, yeah. 
So here so was, was the members only. So at the time, only seven members had voted on it. Um, but they had the final say. Because I realized at the time I was limited. So we could do a poll for just these three that's left. So this is what happened last oh, two, time. Two. So um, I don't know. Did I? Even... No, there was something else here. Uh, this changed. No, you know what happened? This is not accurate because at the time I closed it. So the problem is on YouTube, you can't close oh, a poll. Oh, people can still keep voting. Yeah, people can still keep voting. So I remember I just oh. decided, I was like, okay, right now, yeah, somebody voted after it closed. But again, YouTube sucks with the polls, so there's no close time or anything. I had to, I guess, have deleted the post. Mm. But what I did, I put an extra post saying, thank you, everybody. Here, here's who won. But then somebody still voted after the fact. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but at the time, I think it was tied between Ashkin and, and Akachi or something. I don't remember. Well, we could put... So William Yorick... Oh, he was on Patreon was the third choice. That's the problem. So Patreon, they had a certain amount of votes. Then it went to YouTube. They did a certain amount of votes. This doesn't help us at all is the, the point I'm trying to make. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is I'm not using any old poll data. Because that poll data could have been based on seeing what was high in the vote. And people start picking other investigators they would like to see with that investigator. So now we fully have the knowledge that Akachi is on the table. And who is going to pair with Akachi and a mystic... Uh, a mystic um, uh, class, a mystic class. So yeah. So we'll figure it out. So I'm gonna do a new poll. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a new poll, and I'm gonna just put it on another website like Survey Monkey or Google Forms or something, and I'll link it here on YouTube. You'll see it in the community tab. It might show up in your feed on mobile, and I'm also gonna post it on Patreon for members and supporters only. And you guys can click a link to that website and enter, and then we'll uh, we'll figure out who the investigator is. And then I'll throw a message in the Discord, uh, you know, to Yogi, Bob, Kate, Matuj. I don't know who else was in your deck building group there, Bob. And there may be new people now as well that have joined that may be interested yeah. in being involved. Either in way, that. there is a channel in the Discord. There's a couple Arkham Horror channels. But the higher up one that's like in the on topic or whatever, that is about the playthrough, that's where I stay because I don't want to see spoilers in the other yeah. other Arkham Horror channel. Uh, so I'll go in the playthrough one. I'll mention the producers here that were involved in the deck building uh, before. And then we'll see if you guys can work together and kind of like come up with a deck. But if, if it's too quickly or too quick, I'll just go grab a net deck. No problem. I can do it in like five minutes and then build that deck, you know, another 10 minutes. And just go with it. On the Patreon poll, yeah, but I can't just go with a Patreon poll. We have new members now. We have new producers. We have new Patreon supporters yeah. and stuff. Uh, I want them to get involved too. It's not kind of not fair. I don't want to go by old data. Yeah. So and the data has changed too since then. So mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I don't want to leave YouTube members out, even though there's cross pollination there for sure. But uh, that's how we're gonna roll it. I find with the polls we do on the channel, like seventy five percent of the results come in the first. 12 hours so i think we'll be okay yeah like usually we see like 12 ish hours in there might be a few votes that trickle later there might be a few ties that get broken but usually there's usually a clear winner most people vote on the poll almost as soon as it's posted but yeah so no i'm not going to do the top five from patreon so we're going to do that way i'll just do a, a voting poll on another website i'll do it today right after we're done here so yeah. the quicker we do that the quicker the poll gets up but that's how we'll roll Okay, anything else we need to know? So I get 3 XP, so I gotta put that somewhere. Yeah, I wrote it on there. You get how much? Five. Five, wow, Akachi's gonna get five XP, that's good. Yeah. Uh, uh, you have to move the man in the pallid mask to my deck, if that we matters. We did that? Do we have to oh, do it on online? Here. Yeah, yeah, let's do it on here now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, decks. Uh, do you wanna remove him from yours first? I don't know if it cares. Oh, okay. Because they're not linked in any way. Um, oh, your deck isn't going to be mattering in. Yeah. So we'll go edit. So we're going to upgrade Akachi's or change Akachi's deck here. Did you, like, get any new story cards? No. You don't keep the guy, right? Nope. Uh, it didn't say. Yeah. No. Oh, it didn't God. tell you to put him in your deck or anything, right? This is a weakness. 
But you now have the man in the pallet mask. Beautiful, beautiful. So that's been updated. So that will be reflected in the deck list down in the video description of this video. So if you guys are voting down below in the comments when this stream is over, you guys can impact how Akachi spends that 5 XP and or saves it or some of it or all of it, whatever. Uh, you can put a comment down below, your recommendation, and vote. Hit a thumbs up on the comments you like. And the one that gets the most votes by next Sunday, uh, May the 9th, I think. Uh, that morning, we will go look at the comments down below. Whatever one had the most likes for Akachi upgrades, that's what we're going to do. And that's how we're going to spend the experience to change her deck. Um, I will put a post down below on this stream, uh, this video. Once we figure out who the investigator is, I'll update it in the pinned post down below in the comments that I'll eventually make. And I will put which investigator it is and how much XP they have to spend, which we know is three. But you have to wait till you have a deck. Yeah, so. Maybe you get to decide the first three? Oh, you might get more than five. Bob's saying, are you sure you only got five XP? Remember, there was two in the victories two. play. There was three times it gave us XP. Okay. Uh, sorry, did I miss one? Yeah, sorry. Let's get... Uh... Yeah, we got all... We started with two. Yeah, you got two in the victory display, which it said... Where's resolution three? Yeah, victory display, value two. X. Yeah. Okay. Then we went to the interlude. Yeah, which I think it gave me three. No, no, we then chose to ignore or heed the warning, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh... We heed the no, warning. No, two additional experience. Oh. Because of... Okay, so of, I'm at four. Of saving Daniel and surviving. Then we heeded the warning. Which I think gave one more. Yeah, it gave one more and that was it. Five. So five total. Yeah. That's what yeah, I got. five total. Yeah, and three for so you. So two in the victory display. Two because we... Um, you got out. Someone got out. Yep. And then... Mm -hmm. Or no, Daniel got out. Daniel, and, then and then one, one because three. we also heeded the warning. Perfect. Yeah. No, Mel wanted to steal the keys and just take the poor way out. I realized we should just try to expend it. The only additional issue was getting more monsters in that case. Was my fear of us keep trying those different tests. I did want to steal the keys because I didn't think we would pass. You're right. But even so, uh, yeah, we, I, th I think we just try it with whoever has the highest option. Because you could draw the blue, you could draw a plus one. And you never know, right? Yeah, so you're that's right. what I was thinking. You're right. Like, the worst case, though, you could add more monsters under the act. That was the only downside why maybe you want to avoid it, but whatever. It was a really impactful choice, though. Okay, um, so I updated that deck. Yeah, I think this experience is the only issue, but if you just get to pick your own upgrades for the first one. Yeah, I might just say, I might just put it to the deck building crew. To spend the experience on the deck you guys create or Oh, whatever. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just do it like it's part of the deck build. And that's the link I'll post. Is like, yeah, forget it. You're not going to be impacting how I spend experience for the new character. But still, Akachi needs some options. Put them down in the comments below yeah. once it opens after the stream is over. And vote on the best options. If, there, if you don't see an option you like, put your own down there. And remember, we're building from only Carcosa cards. The whole campaign worth of cards. Player cards. Uh, Dunwich and the core two core sets and two investigator starter decks we still don't have any more they still don't seem to want to appear anywhere in Canada for some reason so whoever is not letting them across the border or whatever is happening whatever pirate stole them off the ship stop it stop it um, but yeah we still don't have any more we just have Stella and we have Harvey uh, one copy of each investigator pack and we've thrown those player cards in so that's where we're building from that's where we're still building from. Just and that goes to our deck builders too, and our those who are suggesting upgrades. Uh, Bob is asking, would you be okay with spending one XP to go on a side quest first? Maybe get some more XP before returning to Carcosa. That's always an option. You guys have to suggest that, and the likes that has, has to, to get happen. voted. Yeah. That has to get voted that's down a, below. That's not on us. Yeah, that's that has to be a voted on option and and win. Yep. So that's I don't care what happens. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> that's not us. That's you viewers getting involved in our playthrough and changing things because, you know, why not? Why not? Yogi's saying, doesn't it cost three to go to Carnival? I don't know. We don't know. I don't... <laughs> it's fine. It's fine.
Uh. right on the front. Uh. Three experience right at the bottom. Each investigator. Each cost. Each investigator three experience. So if you feel my new character might be ready for this, and Mel Zakachi. Uh, are ready for this to throw three experience away if you don't get at least three back from playing this one that is sad sad stuff but if we have the potential to come back with like more like three or more extra or more than three obviously it has to be more than three but if you know how we play and if you think our play style is going to tank us like it did in Rougarou, uh <laughs> don't send us here don't yeah, do we're, it we're not ready for Rougarou, that's for sure i'm going to be playing with a new deck new character for the first time do you want to send me you see how i play with a deck i've played with like five times do you want to send me with a deck i've played never okay bob says okay not going to carnival then <laughs> change his mind that was yes quick. and Rougarou, Rougarou, i don't think we're ready for that i don't think so we need Care Bear <laughs> missions. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we do need Care Bear missions. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I love this game. <laughs> I really didn't know that you could die that, just like that. I had no idea that could even happen. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Changes things of how I will think about I game. thought it was bad enough that you just could get trauma, so much trauma. You're starting off scenarios with more trauma, and just like yeah. eventually you'll, it'll it'll get you over a few scenarios, you know. But the fact is just like, yep, you want to dilly dally, Rob? <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, but you dilly dally to save me. I know. And, so I yeah. feel bad. I didn't know that could happen. I should. And just I think let it was Bob die. saying like when the basement got revealed, it was bugging me because Bob was like, I think it was Bob, might have been someone else, but when you knew the basement was the way to go. And then we both chose to go the other way to go to other Prepare places. Prepare ourselves. Because other places also unlocked at the same time, not just the basement. Yes, it told us the dude was in the basement. But also it also told us the craziest mofos were down in that basement. And we didn't think we were And ready. I'm holding like two cards in hand, not feeling good. And new things just got unlocked. And if I know anything about a game where you're investigating, you kind of want to go investigate some other things. You want to go find some secrets. Maybe you'll find that super weapon you can bring down in the basement to deal with those crazy maniacs. Yeah. And good thing I did because we needed to do four things like lighting the fire and all that. If you had lit that fire in the kitchen, I know we would have crushed this scenario. I know, like but we it, would have crushed it. Was it was that same card that you this one that I had in my hand at the time, and I, know, I didn't want to. But if you just stayed another... there and dealt with it, yeah, we might have took another couple turns to get to the basement. Well, I would have, we would have had another monster because I would have had to. I know, put another, I know. I'm which just is saying. Why I was who like, knows? Who knows? I really thought we maybe only needed two or three of them, and I thought, okay, maybe if we skip this one. But I in the basement. Back <laughs> Excuse me. Stop that tickle. Uh, but in the basement, would we have done four things of those to get out? Well, no, because three of them were out of the basement, right? And there's only I six did things two lifted. of them in the basement. But I think there was one more in the basement because there were six things you could do. Three of them we knew were outside of the basement. So that means no. One of those would have had to have been done to even know that the garden was the exit. Right. But had there was no enemies in the basement, so we could have gone to the basement right away and revealed all that and had that known information. Because then also if I had that known information, when I was in the kitchen, I would have done this. Yeah, true. So... It's tough. But yeah, we, we got there. Belco we... said, Rob tried to save his wife. Only fair after that betrayal from Sword and Sorcery. Hey, we won't talk about <laughs> any of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel bad because I... he saved me. Maybe I should have just died, but I did have Daniel. Which is why I was panicking that I was going to yeah. die. And I had, I had this card in my hand that I couldn't trigger abilities to pass him to you. I would have had to spend two actions, and at this time I thought we were dead. So the, the other thing with this scenario, now that I'm thinking about it too, is uh, if we just had gone to the basement, yeah, that's right. we would have known we needed to do those things. Yeah, that's what I said, yeah. If we went there right away. Then we would have on our way out tried to do some other ones maybe. Yeah. But would we have left the basement too early? I don't know. I don't know. Then we had to go back? Well, we may not have found, I found yeah. Daniel first one. Yeah, I We know. may not have done that. I don't know. Yeah. Thank you, Orbit. You have a great Sunday, you too. You too, yes. Rip, Ashcan, and Duke. <sighs> it was still fun, though. Yeah. It was. I'm fine, fine. Like, I got to play with the... This is the thing. Like, uh, I'm okay losing Ashcan. I got to play a few scenarios with him and see what he's all about. You know, I'm okay. Like, it's not like, you know, 
I think I'm more excited to play a different. Like, I want to try so many different investigators. Remember, you guys have played a bunch of these investigators who who've owned this game for like five, excuse me, five years. I haven't. I've played like three now, I think only. Yeah. So like, yeah. and two of them were guardian. This is my first time I played with some of these seeker cards. But hey, like, if I get to play with a different seeker, trying some other seeker cards, even if I'm back to playing a guardian. I'm still okay with that. That's fine. Even if I play a character I played before. Um, because now we have different people involved in the deck building and new people coming along, new cards in the pool. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm cool playing a different investigator. Yeah, it just lets you see more. Like, I do love games of taking a character, uh, in, in a game and building them up as you play and getting really refining their skills and locking cards and abilities and, you know, becoming this beast at the end and you're smashing them, but this is not that type of game. So you still struggle even at the end of a scenario. I don't know if you can even if there is a perfect deck and then you upgrade if you know what you're doing. If you can like really crush a scenario in this game that much, like feel like you've achieved god mode. I don't know if that exists. I don't want to know really, but um, I feel like you know playing with the vestia, you're always struggling whoever you're playing with. So it's just like whatever. Just give me whoever. Give me some new cards. I I'm I'm fine to play something different. The other thing too it's all good is like for my deck for example i feel like i think i've only upgraded two cards oh yeah right two we're still early we're still so early. we're still kind of early right we've only played this we'll be going on to episode five so technically if you didn't upgrade anything like how many times do we upgrade we don't even see that card anyway so if you upgrade yeah, one I know, card i know, I know, so... I know. Like, will you draw it will you get it in play? yeah will exactly you see it at the right exactly anyways Anyways, I feel like though it would be real mean if they did it on like, episode six or something. You're dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Start again. Well, you get new investigators, right? I know, I but think. still, kind like, of. You, but you have to. No, it says you lose if you don't have somebody to keep going. So yeah, we have to make sure we both don't, don't go insane or die at the exact same, same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think. But I feel like in the campaign they're not going to do that to you in later scenarios where. Yeah. I Maybe yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I think, it's only, cool. I think it's only when it tells you, like, if there's no one left, you lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it It always says that. No. Maybe it does. Maybe it does in a lot of the defeated or the resolution ones or whatever that, that you read when you die or whatever. Oh, yeah, because normally we don't get all the way to the end of uh, the agenda. Right? It was a problem. Oh, Bob Garland uh, has just become a producer over on Patreon, is what I think that says, for a year. Thank, Thank you, you, Bob. Thank you so much. Another Bob. Yes. Or could Thank it be you. the same Bob with one of his 20 different accounts? I mean, the name was close. <laughs> Anyways, thank you, Bob, <laughs> thank for you, Bob. becoming a new Patreon. We appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, so I'll throw up a poll today. I'll go try to figure out a poll. I'll to find out who, what investigator is replacing Ash Can Pete. Um, and then, yeah, I'll make it probably go for like 24 hours. I yeah. feel like that's enough time. Yeah, 24 hours, so, you know, you'll probably see it around 4 p.m. in about an hour-ish. Uh, I'll post it to our YouTube members. You'll see it on YouTube. Uh, on the page in the community tab, it goes there. But if you're on mobile, I know it pops up in, like, your feed yeah, at some point. Yeah, your subscription feed, it does. Yeah, or it gives you a notification that I posted a members-only post, maybe. I don't know yeah. if you have notifications on. Yeah. And in Patreon, it does an email. Oh, in Patreon, it does an email. Yeah. yeah. Oh, James Robert is the new Bob Patreon. Oh, James, thank James you. James is a YouTube member who is now also a patron. You guys don't have to keep doing that. You the, guys are so sweet. The both, but I appreciate you're so too thank kind. Thank you. You're too kind. Thank you, James. Or Bob. What do you prefer, James or Bob? <laughs> I very much like the Robert in there, though. And, and, and being <laughs> Bob is, is cool, too. Like I said, I used to get called Bob when I was a kid sometimes by my, my, friends, my best friend's dad. Mm -hmm. He used to call me Bob. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. Uh, so, yeah. So, awesome. Robert. Robert. I can hear your mom saying Clean that. your room, Robert. <laughs> Clean your room. Anyways. That's uh, so funny. But, yeah. All right. Thank you Thank so much you. for the support, everyone. Thanks for the super chat. Thanks for the Patreon uh, donations. Thanks for the... For Robin. Oh, now you're going to confuse oh, us all yeah. completely. Now I'm going to forget that, oh, but I will man. try my best. We'll try to remember. <laughs> Be funny, we're just like, I prefer Tom. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? <laughs> but yeah, Robin works. Robin okay. Works. <laughs> That's cool. Anyways, thank you everyone for watching. We're going to get out of here. I'm going to go post that poll and uh, we're going to clean this up.
and the, the stream for next week's scheduled. It should still stay there. It shouldn't get pushed because I feel like we have more than enough time to figure out the the, the character and figure out the deck uh, to at least get us into next week's playthrough. So yeah, and and I'll announce it in our producer private Discord once we figure out that investigator and we can start discussing decks and things and what to do there and experience spending and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, tune in ne next week to find out what investigator it is. Yeah, that's uh, exciting. I'll post the deck list on the next episode in the video description once we figure it out. So you might be able to look in a day or two in advance to kind of see if you care, um, if you're keeping track and want to know what we're playing with. But uh, other than that, that's where I'll leave it. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Give us some Akachi deck recommendations down below how to spend your experience. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.